welcome back, friends, to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Welcome back, friends, to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible this set of Marvel Legends for X-Men Build-A-Figure Apocalypse is going to look. Wow. So, guys, subscribe to our channel. If you have not subscribed already, click the subscribe button below and click the little bell next so you can get notified every time we have a new video come out. Let's have conversations in the comments section below. Let us know which one is your favorite and why don't we go ahead and get started, guys, right? What do you think? Right? Now! All right, friends, well, I'm just about ready to get started. So this is the X-Men Marvel Legends series for the Build-A-Figure Marvel's Apocalypse. It looks so incredible. Look at that. So all these seven figures build Apocalypse. It has Wolverine, Magneto, Gladiator, Sabretooth, Storm, Multiple Man, and Slylock. Isn't that awesome? And let me just tell you, these were so hard to find. And not too long ago, I found them at Walgreens, didn't have the money yet to buy them, but I'll tell you what, um, they sure were hard to find when that first wave were gone. Never found them anywhere else until now, Target. Let me tell you Target. So Target and GameStop. So let's go ahead and get started. And first, we have Wolverine. And doesn't Wolverine look amazing in this package already? This looks incredible. It's perfect to display and I almost wish we couldn't open it because this looks so great. But I'll tell you what, we will open it. We'll see how amazing it is, which is even more fun than just having it in the package. And then, you know what, we can always display it back in the box later for collecting. So look how great this looks. It doesn't come with a lot of apocalypse stuff other than these, like, these uh, cables right here, right? I'm excited that he does come with some accessories, you know, fists to the switch out so that's great I wish there was an open hand there's not but let's go ahead and take a look at what it says here in the back so it says razor sharp claws and an incredible accelerated healing ability make Wolverine a nearly unstoppable threat and look how great this looks it looks incredible it looks like the claws come straight out of here they don't in our figure if you take a look they come more out of the fingers here that's all right you know slight variation and the head I feel looks better in this picture look at that than this one but that's quite all right so and you know right here the blades of his mask go really high and kind of flare really nice they're not as good here on this one but I will say this I love this tiger stripe figure so let's get him open let's bust him on out of there right and guys I want to thank you so much for helping us grow and would uh, really appreciate it if you told your friends about our channel so we can continue to grow right share us with everyone you know all right great so take a look at this look how outstanding this Wolverine looks he's even got this butterfly extra joint right there that's awesome and look at these boots this is just such an outstanding figure all right so let's take out these cables for apocalypse take a quick little look at them and look at that they're very bendy flexy and uh, they cut they keep their shape so it goes back so it's meant to stay like this and they're probably the perfect measurement to fit between his arms and his back they look super cool now what I did think about a while back was if he was fighting someone why wouldn't someone just try to rip these out first <laughs> right all right so take a look at these awesome fists that are right here that it comes with those look super cool and let's take our Wolverine right on out of here so first of all Wolverine looks outstanding the color just pops 
and the boots so the blue the yellow the red everything and so let's take a quick look right here at the claws now if I'm not mistaken these claws can come out by just lifting like this see this is how it's in there so you just gotta slide it right there so they won't crack off but they will come out so just keep that in mind so look at that and then we want to try and get it as straight as possible right and let's have them kind of flare out wouldn't that look cool there we go so that looks awesome check that out and then we just got to straighten up by pushing it out and up look at that that looks great so boom and so we can have it like that or we can have it more of straight like this you pick how do you want it I like them both ways but you're probably gonna want them to match you don't want it to just be like that this looks really cool if you're trying to make like a like a comic book cover look at that does not that look awesome so does this but this looks uh, really mean and fierce in a different way so let's kinda just have it like like if it's flaring out in the comic books look at that that looks awesome and let's take a look this looks awesome because he's like coming at you look at this so we have really good head mobility look at that this is really far back really far down that looks awesome and it moves all the way around side to side looks great now I wish these flared out like this wouldn't that be awesome they don't but it still looks amazing it looks absolutely amazing from the side that looks great I just wish it flared out a little bit more to the sides look at this from the front um, the detail on this shoulder right here look at this arms definitely has some great muscle detail and a little bit of veining out that looks super cool look at that that looks great and I love the fact that Logan here absolutely can um, well I guess let me see we got two joints for the elbow but I don't know how far in it'll come since he's got these ridiculous biceps so we might not be able to get it super far in just because he's just so beefy um, which is tough because oh you know what maybe we can do this let's move the wrists that looks awesome and we can have them looking super mean look at that let's see if we can get to focus right here that looks outstanding took a picture right there so it crunches at the abs it's a little bit looser than I would have liked but um, definitely awesome the legs move up here it's a little tight I'd rather have it tight than loose you know that we have the double joints on the knees so we can definitely have some great action poses especially in a stand look at that if he's flying out at someone that looks absolutely great this looks awesome so I definitely recommend this figure obviously and he's got such great articulation so let's see if we can get him to stand up and I'm just gonna throw this out there but Wolverine's probably gonna be my favorite of this set probably yours too because he's just so cool all right let's put him right over here what do you think boom all right go like this let's see what it looks like and let's move on next next we have Marvel's Magneto look how great this looks and cool look how his hands are like see-through purple that looks awesome and I love the fact that we can switch out the heads here comes with apocalypse arm and this outfits pretty cool so I wonder I wonder what this is gonna look like this is gonna be pretty awesome isn't it so wow look how great this looks all right and then you know what did we get a good enough look at the back of the Wolverine one before I go too far in there because look at this great picture right so just throwing that out there all right and here with Magneto man that looks awesome doesn't it that looks super awesome and he comes with the right arm so let's take a look at this and let's read this living up to his namesake Magneto is a master manipulator of magnetism controlling and using its energy to defeat his enemies Wow <laughs> I'm really digging the way that looks. It looks so awesome. Can't wait to get them open. Let's let's bust them on out of here. Come on, Magneto. Uh oh, <laughs> that wasn't part of our uh, uh, powers that went flying. So if you're wondering what it was, it was this that probably goes around his arm. All right. So build a figure set. It's held in place by this piece of tape. Look at this. 
single joint so this arm doesn't move a whole lot just throwing that out there now obviously it's got looks like it's got good rotation but we want this to come further in oh well and then look he's gonna be super veining out on the inside back to magneto all right so we have a cape here and bust them out And let's see if we're supposed to pull the cape. All right, I guess we can kind of just gently fold the cape in so we can get it out. And let's see. Looks like this. Okay, there's a peg for this to go, a really soft plastic peg that goes in here. And in order to take this cape off, if we want to take this cape off, we just got to pop the head off. Let's see this head up close. Yeah, I definitely, I'm digging this helmet. Oh, wow, look. It's soft. I thought it was going to be like hard um, it more than likely does not come off sure doesn't look like it but it's interesting how this happens because it looks like it could if it wanted to it doesn't want to all right put that back right there this almost looks a little bit like that Doctor Strange body doesn't it that one that was like very modern with no cloak but all right so we crunch at the abs great um, we move at the waist the arms got full articulation. We have double joints at the elbow, except this like arm cuff right here is restricting it from coming absolutely a lot further in. But in any event, these hands are ridiculous. Love the way that looks, because this just means he's using his power, right? That looks absolutely outstanding. Love that. Let's see, let's put his cape in here. So we can see him, uh, with without the cape but we have to pop his head off let's put that right there that looks outstanding and let's see what he looks like with the other head let's take a look at that let's take these powers out so let's see what it looks like with the other head just pop that off you know what let's take this cloak off for a minute let's see how he looks pop this right here boom that looks pretty cool actually look at that we can have him like raising something really huge right or we can move his wrist uh, kind of back and let's straighten this out look at that didn't that look awesome I'm sure you're digging that and then these kind of open like this we've seen these, uh, these before in different colors so all you gotta do is kind of just throw them around his wrists look at that so that's pretty awesome there's no real rhyme or reason you just kind of wrap them look at that so that looks incredible I'm digging that let's put his other head back on because this is cool but I'm digging the other head with the helmet tons better so look at this doesn't that look awesome so let's move this like this right and let's move this over here and you know what let's put the head back on so we can take a really cool picture and those things that go on the arms they kind of just flop right off so just uh, you shake it too much like I just did guess what it goes everywhere It'll just fall right off boom they look super cool now there's some black fists in there also now nah, these look much better much better look at that See if I can. Sorry, I was trying to get a picture right here, but I kept having my finger in there. Boom! That looks great. So the other hands we have, they're not purple. It'd be cool if they were, even in these fists. So I'd rather not. I'd rather keep this. And check it out. It's got great detail on these boots. Moves up here on the high part of the shin, and we got pretty standard movement right here on the legs, the double joint on the knees, and the great movement on the feet. So this looks outstanding. I definitely love the way this figure looks. And let me just say yes. Should you get Magneto? Yes, you should. Look how great that looks. Boom, let's put him right here. Let's see, hopefully I didn't have him leaning too far forward. Because that looks pretty awesome. And let me see. Let me bring this down because I don't want him blocking um, our Wolverine. Look at that. That looks great. Awesome. So wow, do these two look cool. And coming up next, we have Marvel's Gladiator. This one comes with the head of Apocalypse. And man, does this head look wicked. Look at that. 
Love the detail in there, and we don't even have it open yet. So, right off the bat, before I even open this, where are the accessories? Come on, Hasbro, what is the deal? So, cape, not good enough. Doesn't count as an accessory. That counts as his traditional, um, uh, just his outfit. And to make matters worse, double fists, not amazing. Because all you can have is like boxing poses and flexing and things that are very unnatural unless you're just boxing and punching. Captain America can get away, get away with it. Hulk can get away with it. But I mean, at least give us other hands to switch out. Give us a weapon. Give us some energy projection. You know, like these guys over here. Anyway, enough ranting about that. I would really love to have something like that, but hey, what did I lose my knife already? Come on. <laughs> here. Okay, cool. So here we are. Come on, Gladiator. Alright. Getting this bad boy open. Oh, you know what? And man, look at this awesome job of this drawing on the side. So, let's bring it right here. Let's zoom in. Looks great. Cool mohawk. So. The leader of the Imperial Guard, Gladiator shoots heat beams from his eyes and commands his forces with formidable strength. So that'd be cool if he had a switch out head, maybe with a different expression. That would be enough to get me excited, but um, it does not. So that's a bummer. So let's get him open. He still looks pretty cool. I love the, the way the colors are looking. And of course, we need to have him because of this right here here look at that doesn't that look amazing wow a little bit of crooked paint right there that's not that big a deal I love this like metallic blue that's awesome look at these red eyes awesome great facial expression and great like underbite going on there Urgh. that looks awesome we'll set that aside let's get out our gladiator so this is Soft plastic. I guess we'll just pinch it and move it forward. All right. So we'll bust this bad boy on out of here like this. Ooh, it's not coming out. It's kind of a smaller hole than I thought. So, kind of fold like that. We can get them right on out. So I'll tell you, the yellow and the red of this. Uh, cloak right here pretty awesome it's pretty loose in there oh it does have a peg I was like man this is super loose but I guess I was just jostling it around uh, wow it's not just jumping in there so let's see it might take a second to get it in there but in any event looks really awesome I don't want him just flexing all the time so and I don't want him doing like bare knuckle boxing only right but let's see we got some great mobility Wow <laughs> Is his head coming off? It's not. Look how far back his head goes. Now this is how we want Iron Man's head to go so he can fly. Look at that. Alright, cool. Let's see how far down it goes too. Wow, ridiculous far. Look at that. It feels like the head's about to pop off. It's not. Wow. Okay. So, it's got this great articulation here. I love how it's tight right here. Boom. We love that. Moves right here at the waist. Looks like we can have some great leg articulation. There's nothing special about these legs other than they're just beefy, right? Look at that. So, um, interestingly enough, purple head matches nothing else in the body. Got the symbol going here. The arms move well. And yes, we do have double joints so we can really bring in the arms. But, um, man, this is, head's a lot looser than I would have hoped. There's not a lot great to say about this figure. You know, he looks okay. He's got those Vulcan type ears. Um, he's got a cool mohawk. Uh, and that's really it, you know? If it wasn't for the fact that we need the head, I probably would not buy this figure by itself. Now I will say this, I would definitely love to take this cloak off and put it on Doctor Strange. Wouldn't that look awesome? So, other than that, there's nothing really incredible about this figure. Sorry guys. But, I mean, you need to know the truth. So let's put this bad boy on right in here. And if he at least had some accessories that made it be like, man, I would love to get that figure just because of those cool accessories, you know? Um, yeah, but not the case. 
boom, let's see. Let's have him like this. So that looks good-ish, right? Not amazing, but good-ish. But we'll take it, right? So, all right, let's put this bad boy right here. Man, look how big and beefy he is compared to Magneto. Look at that. He's, I mean, obviously he's a little bit closer, but not that much closer, but he's definitely big and beefy. And look how small Logan is. Super cool. All right, let's move on to the next one, right? Let's see what we got. All right, cool. So next, we have Sabretooth. Doesn't this look awesome? Now, this one was the hardest one to find. We find we were able to find the other ones at Target and at GameStop, and not this one. All the Targets and GameStops we went to, nothing. And so we were able to find this at a comic book store, but he was significantly more expensive than, you know, at a collector store than he would be at just Target, right? So, um, does not look like he has any accessories. And I'll be quite honest, you know, Sabretooth may be a pretty vicious character in the comic books. I was never really digging the way he looked. You know, obviously he's um, ridiculously strong and fierce. I'm not digging that fur coat type mane here. And Anyway, let's move on. This is probably the best I've seen him though. So I will say that. So I, I'm, I'm proud of that. This looks uh, really cool right here. And I'm glad he has open claw hands. So let's take a look right here. That looks pretty cool. Alright, it says, A skilled assassin armed with sharp, beast-like fangs and claws, Sabretooth is a paid mercenary of evil. Alright. Let's get this bad boy open. Let's keep this show on the road. Okay. So, this looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Check that out. Oh, look at the little tips on his boots. <laughs> that looks cool. So he definitely looks cool. Let's pull this uh, arm right off here. Of course, it's just um, practically a mirror image of the other one. Still veining out. Cool metallic blue. Should go a little bit back and forth. Spins. All right. Bust him on out of there. Oh, wow. Didn't see that coming that this looks like it can be removed. So, interesting. Look at that. All right. Well, this looks like this. Let's put this back on here to have his kind of signature style going right there. Put that right there. All right, let's take a close look at this face. That looks pretty wild, doesn't it? Look at those mutton chops. Got a lot of detail on that face. Look at those fangs. Let's see. Wow, okay, cool. All right, and look at those eyes. So, we do have where it's been consistent in this set, where it crunches right here at the abs, moves side to side here. We have these tiger stripes right here on the side, moves in the high part of the thigh. We got double joints here, because his leg is big and beefy, it doesn't come all the way straight like this, like a, like a Spider-Man maybe would. Um, it moves right here on the shin, so we can have some pretty great articulation. Uh, move side to side, moves forward and backward. Uh, I'm not finding it spinning, let's see. I guess it could, but um, just a little bit difficult because I guess it's a fatter ankle. We got good arm movement. We definitely have good shoulder movement, that's awesome. And this cool little part coming off right here. We have good uh, wrist mobility. And look, the fingers are actually soft. That's kind of cool. I guess they want to make sure they don't break off. So, this figure looks pretty cool. Let's take a picture right here. That looks great. So, so awesome. Let's see if we can turn this wrist right here. That looks kind of cool. Alright, so, this Saber 2 looks pretty awesome. It's got great detail. Love the color. Um, it's got a great expression going on. And I do love the claw hands. So that's definitely something to be excited of and proud of. So let's see if we can get him to get a good little rocking stance right here. Right? Get his feet down exactly the way we want them. And boom. That looks pretty good. Alright, let's get him right over here. That looks pretty awesome. What do you think? Awesome. 
All right, so we've got three more, right? And so look, Storm. Doesn't this look awesome? We have the chest, neck, and torso of Apocalypse. We have these that are just like Magneto had, except yellow ones. So that's cool, and she looks super fierce in this outfit. That looks cool. That looks really awesome. Look at that little white mohawk. Looks really cool. They did a great job on this. So I know that they only have this for accessories, but at least it's an accessory. And um, yeah, take a look how cool this looks on the back. All right, so an affinity for the magical elements made Aurora Monroe, the mistress of weather manipulation, Storm. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Can't wait to get this open and look how this one has a little bit of lightning rocking right there. So let's get this one out of here. Let's see how cool it looks. And I'm really digging how it's like hovering like that. This fell right on out, so we'll set that aside. So this one is too. Surprised it's not taped in there. And let me just say this Apocalypse Build a Figure part is really cool. I'm digging this um, like metallic blue, right? The shoulder pad type deals. This neck thing. So it looks pretty good. Awesome. And look how huge it is compared to her. All right, I'll set that aside. Get Storm out of here. And maybe we want to keep this um, pose because it's pretty awesome. So, looks like this jacket, if we wanted to, could come off. Do we want it to? Not really, because it looks really cool. But I guess if we could pull the, the arms back, it would come off. Um, she moves right here at the rib cage. That looks cool. Let's take a look uh, really close at her face. So look at these cool earrings, right? Those cool eyes. So she's already in full storm mode. Look at this cool mohawk. That's awesome. This belt is loose here. We've talked about this in the past. Um, there's not really a benefit to it. It'd be, I'd be fine with this being attached instead of just loose and flowy like that. Um, one thing you, I did notice right away is this knee is not does not feel super supported and is actually kind of bowing in because it's soft and then it's been posed like that. So just be aware of that. We do have, it feels uh, like it could actually crack off if I move it too much. Um, the Boots are awesome. We got full mobility in in these really cool like high heels going on. Uh, pretty standard body for a female. Single joint at the elbows, and the hands do go back and forth and around. So that's super cool. And we want her controlling the weather, right? Because that's what's super cool about her. And let's see if we can get her to put her in a stand. So let me get one. Let me first get a really cool pose to take a photograph of. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Let me get a stand. Where is it? Here we are. Our favorite stand in the world from Nika. Let's put it right here. Let it go around her waist. And let's angle it up. And yeah. Let's bring this in just a smidge. Uh, but it's this knee that's giving us the problems. Yeah, I'm concerned about that knee. All right, so there we are. Let's bend this right here. That looks really cool. And you know what? Maybe let's lean it a little bit. Or will the leaning be too much? Nah, too much. So let's put it back how it was. And there we go. Just have her hovering. Let's fix the legs. Let's bring the feet in. A little more natural. Let's just have her. Uh, maybe that's too high. Hovering right here. All right. Looks pretty cool, actually. We're probably going to want Sabretooth to be like this. Right? That looks pretty awesome. Well, it actually looks like ha she has her knee in his back. But nonetheless, still looks really cool. All right, let's move on. Oh, and these. Ooh, let's see if I can put this on her without it falling off. That looks pretty cool. I don't want to cover her face either. Really digging these. 
All right, so. Boom. That looks really cool, right? Even better. All right, let's move on. All right, so next we have multiple man. So this figure is kind of interesting. I love the fact that we have multiple heads so we can switch those out. If we had multiple figures, we could definitely have an army of multiple man. Comes with apocalypse leg. Now, I don't know how I'm feeling about this Cobra Commander jacket here. Uh, this trench coat, not feeling it because we can't really take it off. If we take it off, we still have these brown sleeves. So, um, wish we had the option to not have to use the coat, but that's how it comes. Cool art on the side, look at that. It's pretty neat. Alright, so let's take a look at what it says over here, right? Not to be duped by duplication. Jamie Madrix uses the ability to clone himself to assign liaisons to travel the world and acquire new skill sets. So, looks pretty cool here. Uh, I can picture myself getting tired of the trench coat and the double fists. But, because it looks like, Urgh. It's like, everywhere I go, I'm like, Urgh. But, all right, whatever. Let's get him open. Once again, we definitely need him to build our build a figure. I do think that these heads look pretty cool, right? Two different um, uh, facial expressions with the same head, and one without the without that that part going over the head. So let's take the leg out. We have double joints, but because of how big and beefy it is, wow, it does move pretty move back pretty far. This moves up and down. Does don't think it needs to, but all right. Put that aside, and let's take our multiple men right on top. Pull them right out of there. And let's see. Trench coat looks okay. I don't like this Cobra Commander looking part. Let's see, we have some uh, emblems right there on his chest. Uh, he's a bit loose. Look at this, like really loose. Alright, so that's not great. Um, let's see. His legs, pretty standard. There's not great detail on here. He does not look amazing by any stretch. Let's see what sort of mobility we have. We do not have great mobility at the arms either because of the fact that we can only bring it to here. So unfortunately there's nothing really amazing about this figure. Well, I appreciate this arm can come a lot further, but it's because there's a, a cutaway right here that's bigger than this one. So this one arm only moves to there. Well, this one can still move to there, so I appreciate that, but um, yeah, there's. I'm sorry, but there's nothing really great about this figure, and if I didn't need to have it for the builder figure, I would not buy it. So, not at 20 bucks a pop, because Marvel Legends, as we all know, is not a cheap collector habit. Alright, so let's see what sort of... Um, his legs are not great for standing. What are they great for? Not sure. <laughs> but um, let's just get them in a pose and then we'll move on. So, multiple man. Not feeling it. Let's just put them right here. See if we can get him a little bit. Oops, oops. Not trying to move everyone. And let's get him like this. Like he's on the move or something. There we go. Good enough. Let's have him look this way. So, good enough. I will say this. This is a pretty cool looking head. I'm sure we can use this for another figure. Um, with those green eyes. So, this head looks cool. Maybe we can use it for a different uh, Marvel Legends figure. Because it's got great hairstyle. It's got great detail. Really digging that. And... Well, the head went flying. <laughs> and then this head looks really cool. Look at that. We got like a smirk and an eyebrow up. Looks pretty cool. All right, let's move on. Okay, last but not least, we have Psylocke. And doesn't she look amazing? We have the one with the purple hair and the updated version, right? Got these really cool, like, energy manifestations. Those are super cool. And we have the last leg of uh, Apocalypse. 
Got a really cool picture on the side. Heavy shadow going with her power coming right here. And look how cool this looks on the back. This figure looks outstanding. So let's see what it says here, right? Betsy Braddock adopts the identity of Psylocke, combining mystery, I'm sorry, combining mastery of the martial arts with enhanced abilities in telekinesis and telepathy. Yeah, super awesome. So, wow, this is like an energy sword almost, right? So let's get this out. This looks so great. So great. Look at that. It's a great looking figure. All right. And let's get the apocalypse leg out. Look at that. Just like the other one. Mirror image, right? Almost. Boom. All right, cool. Set that aside. This is the uh, left leg, I guess. And look how great this figure looks. All right, so let's pull her on out of here. Get these energy things going. So first of all, this is wow! Look at this really cool energy katana, right? Doesn't that look great? It's outstanding. And then just like our typhoid Mary, this goes right through here. It's basically the same sword, except this one's a pink energy one. That looks outstanding. Let me tell you guys, it definitely does. All right, and so we have this like right here. Hand energy blast. We have this, which appears like it goes right on our head. So I guess it sits right on there. All right, let's take a look at our figure. Once again, this almost like standard female figure for um, Marvel, right? Our Marvel Legends. This, I guess, should be over here on this side. And let's take a close look. Let's see this face. We got a, a good sculpt right there. Got a nice face, we got blue eyes, look at this purple hair. Nice flowy long hair. All right, we'll move right here at the rib cage to move side to side and around. The arms move and bend. Wow, that moves pretty far back considering it's a single joint. So yeah, that looks even more than 90 degrees. So we have one fist and we have one open hand. Let's see, and they should rock back and forth. They do. It was just a little stiff. And let's see, this moves right here on the high part of the thigh. We do have double joints. This one feels a lot more secure than our Storm figure. So this looks great. Head moves pretty good, really far down. Not too far back because of the hair. Uh, actually moves decent side to side considering the hair. And let's put this energy thing. Let's see if we can put it right here since I don't need it to be on the open hand. Let's put it on the fist. That looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Look at that. Awesome. Let's put this right here on the face. Let's see how it goes. I guess it just kind of just smashes in there, right? I wonder if... Well, it's not great unless I'm doing something wrong, but it just kind of just sits on there, I guess. And then the katana. Let me take a picture without that. Let's see. This looks pretty awesome. Let's bring this back under control. <laughs> that looks pretty great. All right, so. Pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get her to stand up. To feed her, you know, small. Let's see if we can get her a really cool pose. Now we just need her to be super cool like this. All right, so let's put her right over here. Let's see if we can continue to get her to stand up. That looks great, doesn't it? All right. And then I lost the thing for her face. We'll just set that aside. Hey guys, and so, your favorite part, my favorite part, the build a figure, right? Why not? Super excited, let's move all of our parts on over here. And let's get, see how massive this bad boy is, right? Let's see, it should be like this, I'm assuming. And let's get our build a figure rocking. 
So let's get this head on. Let's put this head back right here. I wonder if this... How does this even attack? Oh, okay. It's got little plastic pegs right here. So I guess that could be removed. But there we go. Snap the head right on. But it just wouldn't be Apocalypse without that, would it? All right, so let's pop this arm right here into place. Look at this. And the arm doesn't bend very much further in, so just keep that in mind. So he's not gonna have these super dynamic poses, and he also is gonna be clenching his fist, but that looks really cool anyway. All right, let's put this leg. This is the, all right, this leg right here. Just, wow, it's tight. Let's twist that bad boy on in. Uh oh, I don't want to go crazy there because now I'm going to loosen the, the whole joint. There we go. So support it while you twist it in. There you go. All right. Wow, this is a great looking apocalypse. Okay, so support while you twist it in because you don't want to wear out the joint because it is really, really tight. Okay, and let me just say, my goodness, this apocalypse is sick. Look at this. Looks great. Now, the shoulders move out great. The biceps move right here. Um, because his triceps are so massive, it'll hit right there and you gotta pull out, see? Look. All right, the arms don't come any very much closer because they don't bend very much here because his biceps are so massive. Crunches at the abs, that looks cool. Uh, does he not move at the waist at all or is it this belt? Okay, he does move at the waist, it's just the belt really restricts it. Look at that, okay? That's something to just keep in mind. It was right here, the upper thigh, obviously, because we just put it there. We've already taken a look at how the legs bend, and we got some great articulation points for our feet so we can get them to stand. So we really just need them to have a really strong power stance, right? Like that. Okay. And these would go here just by popping that into place and popping this into place, but hmm. Let's take a look. Let's see if we do this. We'll put this here. Maybe it, that's how it needs to look. Look at that. And so this part that has the heavy angle, we'll put that right there and we'll put this right here. So definitely looks cool. Definitely looks pretty amazing actually. Look at those back muscles. This dude looks massive. And let's see what it looks like right next to the rest of all our figures, right? Have them right here. Well, it's not ridiculous, but he's definitely big. So, let's take a look right there. Wow, guys, so amazing. I wanna thank you for joining us here today, whether you're watching the morning, afternoon, evening, it's super early in the morning right now, super late, whatever you want to call it. And I'm excited so I can put this video out first thing in the morning for you guys. It's been super fun. Look how great these look. You tell me which one is your favorite. Let me know in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. So guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Um, click on the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified every time we have a new video come out. And guys, I can't wait to see you on your next video. So. Uh, there may be a clue hidden in this video. So, we'll see you guys really soon on Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Alright friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. I just recorded an intro opening, but I like this one even better because we did this to take a few pictures of what it would look like with some sentinels coming after our X-Men, and this was way better. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can be notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. Give us a big thumbs up. And thank you so much, Hasbro, for making this possible. I want to give you a big shout out. Today is made possible because of Hasbro. Check this out. Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. I have the most incredible news for you here today. Look what showed up on our doorstep. We have from our friends at Hasbro, dun, 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 Marvel Legends, X-Men Wave. And so I can't wait to show you and unbox these. And I just want to say thank you so much to our friends at Hasbro. Thank you, Alyssa. 
Danielle and Deanna. Really appreciate it. We love you so much. You're so awesome. And guys, let's take a quick glance to see what's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I have a pretty good idea, but oh, <laughs> check this out. So, real quick, and then we'll go real deep into it. Gambit. Oops, I'm out of focus for some reason a little bit. We have Beast. We have Wolverine, Weapon X. Check that out. We have Forge. Marvel's Blink. Jubilee. And Skullbuster. And they all come together to make Caliban. So guys, I'm so excited. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Right? Now! It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G! Vince and Gigi? Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Alright friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible these X-Men Build-A-Figure Caliban Wave look from Marvel Legends. They are just incredible. A big shout out and thank you again to Hasbro. We just absolutely love your product. So let's take a look to see who's in this wave, right? So first we have Gambit and he looks pretty outstanding. Let me turn the camera just a little bit. We also have Beast. Look at this. That look amazing. We have Wolverine Weapon X. And I know we just took the, a look at him a second ago, but man, they look amazing. It's a little closer look. Marvel's Forge. Super cool. Look at Marvel's Blink. Outstanding. With Marvel's Jubilee. And we have Skullbuster. So I say we just dive right on in. What do you say? We'll bring these down here. And these over here, and we'll get started. All right. Okay, and first off, we have Gambit. And man, does Gambit look amazing. Look at this. Looks so awesome. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Great paint job, and so, let's take a look at the back. Look, the artwork, I believe, is the same on both sides, and looks outstanding. And it's gonna be the same artwork as on the back. So unfortunately there's no additional artwork, but still looks absolutely great. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. And look at the figures that are in here. Look at this awesome artwork. Obviously, same artwork over and over, which on some of the older Marvel Legends, we are used to seeing different art. You know, like for example here. See different head pose and different art on the side. But nonetheless, this art right here is absolutely amazing. Look how awesome this picture is okay and then of course gambit does not come with a build a figure piece you'll notice he's the first part of the wave and then of course it corresponds the number right here with which piece you get from caliban so let's see what it says right back on over here it says remy lebeau is an ex-thief from new orleans with the mutant ability to convert energy and cause objects to explode so that's unbelievably outstanding isn't it Let's get them open. Let's see what we got going on here. And let's bring our camera just a little bit closer to our table. So, let's get him on out. And first of all, man, does the paint job look amazing. Absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Here's his staff. Here's some cards flying out from his hand. And let's pick them out, see what it looks like. Uh-oh. Let's bend his arms so that we don't have him come out super crooked because his hair is kind of stuck in. There we go. Okay, so on first glance, this looks like the overcoat for multiple men. So if I'm not mistaken, I don't have it in front of me, but I'm pretty sure this is exactly what it looked like. Okay. 
so let's see what we got going on here. His head sculpt looks outstanding. I like the way his hair is kind of blowing and coming over this way. He's got a pretty good uh, paint job here. Interesting, look at those eyes. They're definitely matching the color of the energy coming out, right? So this is a wonderful looking paint going on here. Look at this blue metallic. Look at his boots. Looks absolutely amazing. So let's see how the arms move. Let's see, we got like a clicking turnaround and it feels pretty good. It turns right here above the bicep and then the arm comes in a little, slightly more than 90 degrees. So that's really cool. Um, we do have good mobility um, up and down. So not back and forth. So that's interesting right here on the hand. And then uh, same thing with this arm. Clicks, moves above the bicep and then comes in slightly more than 90 degree angle. And that's really cool. Look at that hand pose. So it looks like it's missing a little bit of paint right there. That's all right. And so, yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. So let's see. The head has pretty good mobility. Look at that. Really digging it. All right, let's see. We do have ab crunch and a really strong one at that. Um, we do turn at the waist. We do have some pretty awesome mobility and strong feeling um, joint right here at the knee. Look at that. Turns right above the thigh. And then it still turns right here above the shin. So we've got some outstanding mobility here. And the only thing is, once I turn this, it got a little bit looser than I would have liked, but it still feels good. And then it pivots right here at the ankle for absolutely great articulation. So, this gambit looks absolutely amazing. Look at this bow staff here. We'll put this right in here. And we'll, we can get uh, just a really outstanding pose in just a moment. So, that looks great. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, there's tape here, and I definitely don't want to uh, destroy this accessory. Let's see if I can lift it. There we are. There we go. So interesting. Yep. And so this looks cool. You see the energy coming off of this card. And then let's see this. Here's these cards that he's throwing out from his hand. All. <laughs> he's throwing it that way the reason why I say that way is because this card is the furthest away so that one come up <laughs> that would come up first like that or if it come in this way obviously it <laughs> he threw this one first so anyway it's so bright in here that um, I can dim the lights in just a minute but that's why you can't see it without me putting my hand behind it so it looks really neat look at that oh and then got so much detail he's even got fingernail in there look at that That's pretty cool, look at that. All right. So then here's this energy card right here. So, I guess we can actually fit this one in here. Look at that. That's kind of cool. And we can actually swap this hand. It's the same hand. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put these back because I know I'm gonna lose them. And we'll keep our gambit figure goes like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one up as well because if you know me, I'll misplace these. So just keeping it real. <laughs> put this up right here. I definitely do not wanna lose those accessories. Okay, so let's get to posing our action figure. Put that aside and see what we got going on. Okay, and here we go. And I'm super pleased about this pose right here. And the cool thing is, let me get our camera out of here. You can absolutely use the trench coat to help him get in this pose. He's leaning back on a defensive type pose. He's encouraging someone to, come on, I'm gonna go ahead and fight you right now. And look how cool it looks. It looks absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I'm super pleased with this action figure. He looks absolutely amazing. Got great posability, and despite the, the trench coat, so that looks outstanding. So we'll go ahead and move him just a little bit to the side back right here. And we'll put him right here. I think he looks absolutely outstanding. So, 
Let's move on to see who we got next. What do you say? Let's zoom out. All right. So next we have Beast. And Beast absolutely looks like a beast of an action figure. Look at that. And he comes with the head of Caliban. So this is probably gonna be the hardest one to find. It was the hardest one for us to find. And so same artwork, mirror image on both sides as in the back, as is the same one here. So let's read what it says right here. It says, Marvel's Beast. One of the original X-Men, Hank McCoy, is a genius whose mutant ability gives him a fury blue beast-like appearance. I said, it should be furry. <laughs> I said fury, but it's furry. All right, so that looks absolutely outstanding. Gives him a furry blue beast-like appearance. Let's get this bad boy out. Fury would have one R. And cool, look how it has that X-Men symbol right in there. So, um, yeah, this looks amazing. Let's set our Build-A-Figure piece aside and look at that awesome detail. And look at that awesome paint job. It's not just a solid color, but it's got some, some shading on there. All right, so let's move on. And I'm so glad we have accessories for Beast. That's not something we're used to get. Oh, look, and his finger is poking out through this hole. So we need to be mindful of that when we take him out. So we don't want to just rip him out and then his finger be stuck in there. So let's turn him as we pull him out. And push his hand out and pull that finger out last. Okay. So, in these hands, let's see. This is a fist. So I'm probably not going to want to put that on him. In this hand, I might want to put this on him. The thing is, he's already got a great hand here. So, you know what? Let's see what it looks like. Here's what this hand looks like. Looks great. Look at the nails. And it's got some shading right here. I love the way it's got the black for the hair. So, we can absolutely have him like standing or something. So, I'm going to put this aside and let's take a look at our figure. And he looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Look at this great job they did with, um, with his face. Now, I think I would have liked a little more white on the teeth. Maybe we can kind of adjust that ourselves by making it, giving it a little bit of custom paint, which isn't really going to be custom paint. It's going to be more like correction. It looks great. So look at the hair. It's got some shading in the hair right there. So it's not just a solid black. Same thing right here on the cheeks and his mutton chops and look at his elf like ears. Let's see how far back his head goes. So it goes about that far back. It goes about that far down, turns, so we got some pretty good head mobility considering how restricted he is here. So his head goes pretty far back. Oop, and there we go again. You wanna know how far back it goes? It goes that far back. <laughs> oh, and he's got this extra joint right here. I did not see that coming. Look at that. Extra butterfly joint, which that is outstanding. So you can absolutely have him maximum posing with the arms. So that looks great. Let's see, he moves pretty solidly around and kind of clicks there. Moves above the bicep. We've got double joints right here at the elbows, which is great because he's such a big figure. So it comes into about a 45, almost 45 degree angle. So that's outstanding considering how big he is. And then his arm, uh, turn, his hands turn right here at the wrist, back and forth. Same thing here, back and forth. So this is an absolutely outstanding figure. Let's see, he does crunch right here at the abs and above uh, where the rib cage is, so he turns there. And does he turn anywhere else? No, that's where he turns, right here. So his X-Men belt, um, why is it off center? Interesting. Let's see if I can push that. Oh, well, I don't know if it's completely, yeah, mine's glued there, so that one's not gonna move from there. But um, I'm sure if we loosened it, we could get it, it's glued like right here because the rest is loose. So I'll have to move that on my own later. I'll have to lift this carefully so I don't tear it. So anyway, still looks awesome. You know, I hadn't even noticed that. And then of course, we've got some great mobility here. We've got some double joints of the knees and look how great that is. Moves above on the high part of the thigh. Oh, it's tight here so you're gonna have to support it so you don't crack it right off there. Look at that joint. So it's got some super strong joints. I really appreciate that. Um, 
and then some great articulation here at the ankle back and forth and then an extra toe joint right there so that's amazing and I'm sure we can have him like doing all sorts of crazy posing here so that would be like perfect for him jumping over something look at that so that would be awesome the thing is we have him just jumping on the ground <laughs> otherwise this would be a absolutely outstanding pose him jumping over like a tall shelf in a building or something trying to chase someone look at that or just straight up break dancing <laughs> but otherwise that looks absolutely outstanding absolutely and then let's get what it looks like on the back of this figure look how amazing this looks I love little touches of that really dark gray it's got going on here so this is an amazing absolutely amazing action figure definitely I want to pick this guy up once again he's probably the hardest to find too so we were going everywhere looking found him at uh, I think we were able to see him at Think Geek I don't remember if we were able to see him at Walmart but um, absolutely hard to find so anyway I'm sure there'll be more and more of him as it as this wave has been out a little bit longer and so right now it's brand new so that looks outstanding and I'm gonna have him coming out like that he's jumping over not just getting out of bed <laughs> so if he was coming over this this wall right here he'd be jumping over it like that so I think he looks absolutely great look at that ah, maybe I guess I'll have to pose him standing up because it looks odd for him to be just on the ground and I don't want him to I'm gonna have to change his hand too because it looks a little awkward if he's standing to have his hand open like this unless he's kind of like can't see me so all right let me change this hand and so let's see let's pull this off let's put this right back in here so that flat hand is great to support him if he's doing jumping and so on but as far as a threatening type pose I guess we're not gonna have a weak fist like that if we're gonna have him threatening a bad guy so we will put this fist on after all so there we are we'll bring his arm in and if you'll notice the bicep is come in slightly but if you want to pose something good kind of try it yourself and look in the mirror and see how far your bicep comes in because it doesn't stay like that and it doesn't come this far in so it'll come about like that and so let's have him as threatening as possible with his shoulders back getting ready to just unleash there we are so hopefully it doesn't fall over but I want him to kind of wind up getting ready to just punch someone boom getting ready to hit that sentinel right that would be awesome let's bring this down just a little bit and let's bring his face over here and let's bring this even higher there we go and it looks kind of like Blanca from Street Fighter but blue let's put him right over here and I think that'll be great well we might have to turn his head back just a little bit there we are so that'll work same thing with that gambit right there. Okay, great. Looks absolutely amazing. You know what? Maybe it might be cool to put a, a sentinel in an in a action scene with them once we're at the end of this uh, review. What do you think? Cool. So let's move on. Okay, next we have Weapon X, which is Wolverine when they were first developing him. And looks really interesting. 
So I'm gonna bring our camera up again. And look at that, looks like we have two heads. We have the one where he's wearing the helmet, um, the control helmet, and then we have here where he's like yelling out. And you know, it looks pretty interesting. Go ahead and take him out here and, and see what he looks like. Let's see what the back says. It says, the Weapon X program experiments on humans and mutants alike, including Wolverine, who undergoes a brutal process that bonds adamantium to his skeleton. Yeah, so the reason why it was so crazy was because he has such um, a quick healing process that he can heal basically instantly. And because of that, they melted adamantium, which is basically one of, if not the strongest metals known to man um, and then let it boiling dry um, I'm sorry s solidify on his skeleton and that's why his skeleton is so strong but um, that's what makes him so ridiculously indestructible but um, of course it was torture so let's get him out of here and let's take a look at our Caliban piece there's a two-toe foot <laughs> And this is the right leg. There we go. Let's see what this other head sculpt looks like. You know, which one would we, are we gonna want more? This head or this head? Anyway, let's take a look to see what this one looks like. So here he has, he's got this control helmet on. It does not come off. It's fused to his head, as far as I can tell. And he's got this belt on there. I wonder if this belt can come off. I'm sure it can come off, I just don't know if it has something to release it. Because if it doesn't, then obviously it's not intended to come off, but I'm sure there's something on here. Just throwing that out there. Because we should be able to take this head off. Oh, okay, we just take this off here. Okay, so nonetheless, this head looks really cool. Look at that. Definitely looks comics inspired. He, his head moves pretty decent. His hair kind of restricts it from moving too far back. Um, let's see. Does this pop out? No, this does not pop out. Does it pop out of here? It does not. I'm sure I could pull it out, but I may not want to. So this part doesn't come off either. So all these are loose, but they're not intended to come off. So it probably can if we put some effort, but we're not looking to do so. All right. So let me turn this around. And his shoulders have this... They do have this extra butterfly joint, so that looks really neat. Um, let's see, goes pretty far back. Looks like we'd be able to turn these all the way around. Of course, we're going to start getting tangled right here in these. Um, it's really cool how they have the, the claws, the wrists go back and forth. So this figure has great articulation, including double joint here. And look at the little paint job for the arm hairs and the chest hairs. So it looks really great. Uh, the thing is, you need to know that these aren't really meant to come off. So we've got some pretty good articulation here. We get to move above the thigh. get to move um, double joints on the knees. Um, great for the feet. Great foot sculpt. Looks like Hugh Jackman's feet. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> Who knows? And then, uh, yeah, so um, not sure. Uh, I don't remember if he's supposed to be able to see through this or not. But... Um, I'm sure he can just see what they want him to see. And yep, so if we take this out, pull this helmet off, we can have him kind of raging out here. And he's got kind of like a early Mel Gibson here. So that looks cool. And look, he's like, mmm, it's got some Kool-Aid in there. Okay, obviously it doesn't. But, um, Yeah, do you want it with or without the helmet? I'll say without for now. And we will have him just totally raging out. Look at that. I think that looks pretty amazing. And yep, look at that. Absolutely awesome. What are your thoughts? Got all these control devices, and so that looks absolutely really neat. So, yeah, buddy. Let's turn.
turn this just a little bit. Let's turn his wrist. Does it go side? No, it goes in and out. Yeah. So there we are. I think it looks awesome. Look at that. So it looks really cool. Absolutely. All right, so let's move on. Man, what a cool Weapon X. Of course, Wolverine Wolf Weapon X, the um, Logan version, because, you know, obviously his clone daughter was still part of the Weapon X program. All right, awesome. So next we have Marvel's Forge. And wow, look at this, like, hmm, this, like, ye old time settler <laughs> little fringe here. So fringe and forge. But looks really cool. It definitely reminds me of the comic. And look at this awesome art right here. So this is a great looking, uh, great looking artwork right here. Again, he comes with three, with the left arm. I'm sorry, yeah, the left arm of a Caliban. So let's see our write up right here. It says, Marvel's Forge, living up to his name. Forge is an expert inventor. Who supplies, who supplies the X-Men and other groups with advanced technology. Wow. Looks cool. He's got this, this red headband going on there, trying to look like Rambo. Let's see, he's got two guns here. And let's get this bad boy out. I don't know if I'm feeling that. You know, Davy Crockett over here. So... <laughs> let's get Davy Crockett on out. Futuristic Davy Crockett. Uh oh. I pushed this gun a little hard and because it's soft and moldable, it almost kept that uh, shape. Okay, here's um, Caliban's arm. Looks cool. I love how the hand has this um, shaded texture on it. So let's set that aside. Let's bust him on out. So, first off, cool. You know what? Um, where's the the package? I think I would have liked this slightly different mustache better, but it's almost the same. But it's not, if you'll notice. But nonetheless, looks cool. It's ever so slightly different. The other one is more angular, or this one is more rounded. So there's this ponytail. Looks cool. Let's see what sort of head articulation we have. They're pretty good because this does bend. Turns to the head to the side. Round. So this looks like it does come off. And that's cool how it has a hole right here. So that it can match up with the with the hole that he has in his back for peg. Um, which just gave me an idea that I'll try some other time. But um, yeah, he's got great articulation in his arms. Oh, this is nice tight, uh, nice tight joint. Moves on the high part of the bicep. Has double joints, but because of his cuff right here, doesn't come super far in. Uh, hand moves in and out like that. And so he's got some pretty good articulation. Definitely has a great ab crunch. Turns at the waist. This is a red belt instead of a yellow one. And then he's got kind of like this cyborg looking leg. That's double joints at the knee. Oh no, I don't want this to be separate. I'm gonna have to glue this because I don't want that to be um, loose all the time. So I guess I can push that up. And so to be, to be honest, I'm not even a big old fan of these Davy Crockett things. So I'm just gonna pull this off. So, and I think I'm just, better off right there with just brown. I think I'm happier that way anyway. So, um, let's see, this holster looks cool. Let's see if we can fit this in there. Wow, looks like we can. Ooh, careful when you're pushing it. So that fits in there. And then the guns can actually be in both hands. So that's really cool. Um, we do have a finger to put his trigger finger in there. Look at that, that looks awesome. And looks like we can absolutely hold this gun with two hands. 
So that looks awesome. That looks really cool actually. Let's see, so we move on the high part of the shin and then we get some good articulation with our feet. So, let's see, let's get a, a really strong stance. So strong stance would mean more standing up and straight with the legs spread. Let's see. There we are. Um, that'll work. It's not like super amazing, incredible. I'll tell you what. Let's have him hold the gun separately because I wasn't really excited about that pose actually. Put this in here. Let's bring this up. Let's bring this over. And, you know, maybe that'll be a lot more satisfying. Okay. There we are. Okay. So, because his trigger finger doesn't go through that um, trigger right there, makes it look slightly more awkward because it's popping out of his hand. But still, I'm still digging the way it looks. So let's see what it looks like over here on this hand. Because here, this can go through the trigger. Look at that. So that'll work. And let's see, if we do this here. Okay, I think I like that better. All right, so his legs are a little bit looser than I would have liked, but nonetheless, there we go. We'll definitely live with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put him right over here. And yeah, buddy. So let's move on. Okay, and next we have Marvel's Blink, which interestingly enough, many years ago I had a really cool, Mar uh, had some X-Men figures and Blink was one of them. Of course, she was a smaller figure. I think she was only like this tall. So this is a way more outstanding action figure and looks absolutely great and comes with Caliban's leg. So look at this beautiful artwork here. Look at that. Looks absolutely outstanding. So, all right. And here it says Marvel's Blink. Clarice Ferguson uses her mutant ability of teleportation to disappear and reappear in the blink of an eye. So, very similar to what happens with um, Nightcrawler, but not exactly the same. So, absolutely both can teleport. Let's get her on out of here. And then, of course, wow, look at this. Looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so, here's Caliban's leg. Very much so, it looks like a mirror image of the other one. Set that aside. And so here's Blink. Get her out of here. Man, look at this awesome like teleportation ring or whatever this is. It's a portal, right? And then here's her teleportation javelins, which is interesting because she can like throw them and teleport things or parts of things, which would be really destructive if she just teleported part of your hand only. So just throwing that out there. So we'll set this aside and the color looks absolutely marvelous. So it might be a little bright in here, so a little bit of dim the, the light so you can see, but um, this color is, there you go, really phenomenal. So is hers. Okay, so let's take a close look at this head sculpt. It looks outstanding. Look at that. This hair, this hair is very hard and this one's soft. So you can't really move it down past that, but you can move it forward, you can move it around, and it's got a really good head sculpt, I would say. So that looks outstanding. And then um, this belt attached to the rest of her dress is loose and it's folded on purpose here, so just keep that in mind. See, she moves right here, right above the rib cage. Um, arms move all the way around nice and strong and wow look her arms actually come in more than a 90 degree angle which is something that we don't always see with the female characters like that so that looks outstanding great paint colors 
Um, maybe I would have liked to have seen this green just a little bit lighter. Um, I will say that, but looks good. Um, got good knee joints, moves high part of the thigh, moves good at the hips, and then has got good articulation here. Has this elf looking Robin Hood boot almost, right? And so, I guess they're both, uh, both of them are folded. So, not sure how I feel about that yet, you know. But, um, looks cool. Let's see if it looks any different. So, in any event, looks cool. Um, I do like the fact that the hands are like this, so we can have these in our hands. It would be very threatening with these teleportation javelins. Look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. Oof, I can't get this to stay down right here. But, yeah. So we can have her like, we can, we can do this all sorts of different ways. We can have this coming forward. We can have her coming out of it. We can have lots of great things happening with this teleportation thing. Let me see if we can use our stand to do anything cool. If not, you know, whatever, tried. Okay, so I think this is kind of cool, but it's hard to keep her in this pose because the teleportation deal keeps like moving on me. But tell me that doesn't look pretty amazing, her jumping out of it. I think so. I think it looks pretty outstanding, actually. So if I don't move it too much, it'll stay. But wow, look at that. Okay, so hopefully you like it too. If not, oh well. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's see who we got next. So next we have Jubilee. And Jubilee looks pretty outstanding. It's a beautiful color job. It just pops on off of there, out of there. So unbelievable comes with Caliban's torso midsection chest abdomen all that and then we have a uh, we can do a head swap here so I'm a little surprised I don't see any like powers and sparkles that should be accompanying Jubilee anyway let's see what the back says I almost skipped that oops the mutant Jubilee generates pyrotechnic energy blast that she calls fireworks capable of blinding enemies or causing serious damage which exactly where is our accessory to do so anyway let's move on and let's take a look wow look how great this looks let's caliban chest over here I'm super excited about that look at these wow there's several sets of glasses look at that I don't know if that's an accident it's supposed to be. I'm assuming it's supposed to be, but you know, who knows? All right, so let's get this other head sculpt out. Ooh, I don't want to break that piece of gum that she's blowing. Ah, oh, there we go. It was really tight in there. And let me just say this again, the colors on this Jubilee are absolutely outstanding. So I take it this doesn't come off. There's a possibility that it could, but it probably doesn't. And let's see this. So this probably goes right here, which absolutely looks great. I don't think it needs to be permanently put in there if it comes off like that. And then this, I'm not real sure what the deal is. So maybe we just did get two on accident. Who knows? But, um, you know, whatever. Looks good. So we'll put this back in there. This set. And Jubilee looks better, I'm sure you'll agree, with those cool pink shades. So just put those right on there. Do you want her with or without the gum blowing? I say with the gum blowing. Jubilee blowing bubbles. <laughs> All right, so if I can get this in there. Hopefully I can put this head in there. Oh my gosh, disaster. There we go, cool, and look how great I can't get over just how much these colors just pop out at you. There we go, ooh. There we go, finally got the head on. And I don't, I'm not even sure it's all the way on, but anyway, the head moves really far back and forward. Let me twist a little bit more because it may not be all the way on. All right. 
so ah uh, it's extra stiff on there so we'll just keep that right there make sure you support the head when you turn it and ooh now I see why but still if you're not handling the head too much it still looks great so got great articulation in the arms you know, that 90 degree angle we were talking about on the most female characters the wrists move really well look at that I like these hands um, let's see that emblem up close it's cool it looks almost like a Pokemon Go symbol <laughs> I like the sculpt I like that it closes right through here um, she moves and articulates at the waist and at the rib cage so that's cool she's got these you know 1980s blue jean shorts I'm sorry maybe early 90s <laughs> and then it moves really good here at the double knee joint moves right here underneath where it has the shorts and then moves right here in the low part of the shin so it's got some really great articulation I don't know if Jubilee needs to be doing all sorts of like tucks and rolls obviously that would be kind of cool if the winds blowing like that look at that so all you got to do is kind of just fold this out like that so let's have her using her abilities and uh, I don't know what I did wrong but why the head's so tight to turn this one but nonetheless let's switch the arms that are doing so let's have it like that and let's blow that back and so I think that'll look really amazing actually look at that what do you think this is a great looking character great looking figure and I think it looks absolutely amazing let's put it right by blink and look at that wow <laughs> that looks wonderful wonderful the word maybe I don't use this often look amazing looks super outstanding wonderful boom wonderful 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 all right let's move on okay and so last but not least as far as our characters before we do our build a figure is skull buster look how interesting he looks a little bit of throwback to um, crossbones although obviously still very different but just saying that because it looks like a skull right here right so it looks absolutely outstanding and let's see what it says right back here an enemy of the X-Men the cyborg Skullbuster is a member of the villainous gang called the Reavers and yeah buddy looks awesome look at that beautiful artwork every one of the, the drawings on the back of these Marvel Legends looks Phenomenal. There's another word I don't use often either. Phenomenal. So, the arm. Look at that. This cuff right here, it's soft. So, look at this weapon here. This short little snub nose gun. <laughs> With a sh scope that's bigger than the gun. And then, uh, of course, this magazine popping out. Let's take a look at this. I don't know if I'm going to want to use this helmet, but I'm sorry, this head. But it still looks cool, right? This helmet um, part is kind of loose, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be so that it comes off or not. But it looks like I can peel it off. So I don't know if I want to. So just throwing that out there too. And then it looks pretty cool. Look at that. I'm gonna pop that back in there. And we're just gonna deal with our figure as he looks on the package. So look, at his ears. And his head moves about that much back and forth. Let's get a, a way closer look. Almost looks like a milk mustache, like he was drinking milk, like does the body good. So looks interesting. I like these spikes right here. Look at th these bullets that he's got going on right here. An extra magazine right here. Got that cyborg looking bishop type arm. I guess this is supposed to be a robotic hand too. And then he's got a holster so he can hold this crazy gun look at that so that's cool so he moves at the waist he does ab crunch well his arm is going to be restricted by this but it does move well look at that there's a high part of the the bicep um, double joint so it comes in about um, 90 degree angle 
I mean, it goes like this. I guess so we can angle the gun. He does have the finger loose so that he can put it in the in the um, for the trigger. And this hand is just open like that, which is a good looking hand. It's like, err, there's tension in that hand. Moves in the high part of the the thigh. The hip movement is good. That double joints right here got knee pads because he wants to do some gardening. And um, moves in the high part of the, the shin and then angles right here on his boots. And his boots look good. Look at that. I'm really digging that. So let's see what kind of poses we can get out of him. Let's go ahead and set him up with his gun. His gun looks like it's as long this way as it is that way. But let's squeeze this bad boy on in there. Let's put his finger through the trigger if we can. Or at least where it should be. If it doesn't go through the trigger. There we go. There we are. Ah, I just can't get his arm any further in because of that, the way it hits right there. I was hoping to, but there we are. Let's get him going pretty well here. All right. That looks pretty good. So outstanding look at that there we are there we are we'll put him like that I don't want him necessarily be stepping on Jubilee's foot <laughs> so let's see let's turn his foot the right way. There we go. Okay, that'll work. All right, and man, do all of these look amazing. Let's get closer and take a look at all these amazing Marvel Legends. Look at that. Unbelievable. All right, let's get down to the part that you and I have both been waiting for to do our build a figure. All right, let's just get this straightened out here. And, all right, so let's get our build a figure pieces in order. Let's get this going right here. Amazing. And there we go. So, this looks absolutely outstanding. You know what? I'll, I'll dim. Um, what we got going on, let me see. There we go. Hopefully that helps. So, all right. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and put our head on. And wow, definitely looks very vampire-ish. Vampire-esque. Let's pop this bad boy on in here. And look, he's definitely veining out. So it's been juicing, which ugh. that looks outstanding already. Look at that. Let's get his leg just popped on in there, and this leg popped on that. I don't know if it's a slightly different material, but it's a slightly different paint, as far as you can know right here. Perhaps even um, like I said, material. So. You know, it may have been cool if his legs were a little bit longer since his top part of his body is so big, but anyway, still looks cool. Man, what a great pose right off the bat. We just need him to have a big, strong, scary pose, and that's it right there. So, let's take a close look at the actual action figure. And so we got great mobility that kind of like clicks as it moves, moves in the high part of the bicep but his triceps are so huge that they'll hit the body if you don't be careful right there he's absolutely veining out right here and moves back and forth right here these are soft fingers so if you'll you know they have a really strong pose but they're a different material than this and a mirror image here he does crunch really well here and wow it goes all the way back so look at this 
So that looks absolutely outstanding. He moves at the waist, moves at the high part of the thigh. He's got absolutely awesome double jointed knees that bring his legs all the way in so he can be jumping at you. Look at that. So that looks outstanding. Got great um, ankle joints, moves back forward, moves in right here at the, um, in the high part of the shin. So it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. So I'm gonna bring us back brighter so that we can just see how outstanding this looks. Okay. So this action figure is absolutely amazing. Look at that. So we'll make some room for him. And let's see, I guess we can just move Gambit this way. We can move Beast that way. We can move our Wolverine that way. We can move our Skullbuster that way. Or our Jubilee. Back that way again. We can move our Blink. Oh, that's what happened. It makes sense. Our Forge. We try not to knock everything over. And then a Caliban. Yep, looks absolutely outstanding. Jubilee just a little bit more. Link just a little bit more. Forge just a little bit more. And so that looks wonderful. I'm sure you guys will agree. So guys, I want to thank you for watching our video today. Again, a big shout out to Hasbro for making this all possible. Guys, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Talk to us in the comments below. You know, um, and click that share button so you can share this wonderful video with everyone. So look forward to seeing you on our very next video we have coming out. More Marvel Legends to come, more X-Men to come, and yep, we'll be talking with you real soon, guys. Thanks again for watching Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Hey friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible these brand new Marvel Legends look. They came out not too long ago, and man, I really want to thank Hasbro for sending these our way. This is the Wendigo Build-A-Figure series, and there are so many great X-Men, and X-Force, New Mutants here, and so you're not going to want to miss this. So before we get started, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And let us know where in the world you're watching from. Check out how great that looks. So guys, what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right? Now. So nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Man, I am so incredibly excited to finally get started with these. Again, I want to thank you Hasbro for sending these to us. You are so amazing and thank you for being such a wonderful friend to us. So we're going to go ahead and get started, but let's see who exactly is in here. We have Wolverine, Marvel's Cannonball, Marvel's Boom Boom, Marvel's Guardian, Nightcrawler, and Mr. Sinister. And wow, look at this Build-A-Figure for Wendigo. Looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to jump right on in. And man, these look great. So um, let me set some of these aside so we definitely have enough room. And we'll go ahead and get started. What do you say? All right. So first, we have Wolverine and Uncanny X-Force outfit. Look at that. This looks absolutely amazing. And it comes with a head right here. And it looks absolutely great. Look at those red eyes. So look at this wonderful artwork here on the side. Look at that. And let's see if it's a mirror image or what it is on the other side. Absolutely is right there. Looks so great. And then take a look at the back. I'm assuming that's the exact same picture right there. But now that we get uh, like a 
zoom out shot, uh, shot of that, it looks absolutely great. Amazing pose, beautiful artwork, and look at this background right here. So again, look who's in it, and let's take a look. And of course, Wolverine comes with the head. So, Wolverine. Wolverine joins the militant group of super beings known as the X-Force, using his powerful adamantium claws to slash down opposition. Jeez, looks so great. And I just pop them right out, because we've been waiting a good while for this, and let me tell you, this set looks pretty awesome. Especially, especially this Wolverine Nightcrawler and Mr. Sinister, I'm sure you'll agree. So let's, let's take a look. And then, let's not forget how Wolverine's not super tall. So let's pop out this Wendigo head and just take a close look real quick. Make sure we stay in focus. And look at that. I like the way that hair kind of fades from white to blue. And look at that. I don't know if it's supposed to look bloody like that on the teeth, but definitely adds a nice touch. Or if it's the paint coming off. But either way, both ways it works. And look, also with red eyes. There we go. Where's a Ben Stein when you need it? Alright. We'll go ahead and set that aside. And let's take a look at our Wolverine. Let me tell you, he looks pretty amazing. Now, I want to take a look right off the bat. Sorry. <laughs> I had to hiccup or something. At these blades right here. Look at his claws. I love how they're big and bulky and this is different than the claws we've been used to which are definitely tons thinner but doesn't it look absolutely amazing and I'm like don't I have another one right here right over here somewhere I'm sure I do but uh, anyway this looks so great I'm definitely loving it and I wonder if the claws they probably just pop right on out here so if you go like this they probably pop right on out because that's usually what they do in the other figures so let's take a look at this head Let's see what sort of ooh, mobility. I was like, well, I guess I want to go so far back. So, and be careful with the, the mask blades because you don't want to break those because they're actually a lot stiffer than I thought they'd be. The head doesn't go as far back as I thought it might. The head definitely goes pretty far down and then barely pivots to the side but definitely turns. All right? And I love that we have the, the butterfly joint right there so his arms go further back and further in. So, that's outstanding. Look at that. All right, and then it, um, we have double joints to the elbows. It moves above the bicep. And we got some pretty decent um, articulation here. It moves slightly more than a 90 degree angle. And let's see, do the shoulders go all the way around? They do. And they're kind of just like, um, they're kind of stiff, which I guess is all right, as long as it moves. Because I definitely don't want them loose. Let's see, it turns right here at the waist. He's got an extreme ab crunch. Look at that, it looks great. Um, we move well right here with the double joints at the knees and then the double uh, you have it it can turn right here on the high part of the thigh and uh, man great so we have some awesome articulation right here at the hip joint so that's awesome and look at the beautiful detail look he even got uh, right here they even gave him some arm hair which is like a few brush strokes so all right that looks awesome we can turn his wrists, they go back and forth, so that looks cool. And uh, I'm so glad we can't move that boot on the high part because I don't dig that. But we definitely have some good articulation right here on the ankle as it can pivot and turn back, uh, go back and forth. So this Wolverine is pretty awesome. Let's zoom in just a little bit right here. And I said a little bit, but we got right up on there. And look how great this looks. So we can definitely create some really outstanding poses and belt looks cool it's loose which I would have preferred to just be attached but nonetheless looks looks pretty awesome so let's have him lean on in right here Oop. and how do we want this to work out so definitely definitely looks awesome there we go and let me just see if I can get his feet to stand well all right and this will definitely work he's kind of having someone like come on with his claws come on over here and then this one ready to strike right here so 
Look at that. He's kind of on his back leg in defensive mode and ready to pounce. So really love the way this pose looks. Looks pretty awesome. Pretty simple. Just suggested so that, you know, maybe you want to do something similar. And we'll set him up right on over here. So there we go. We'll put Logan right there. Looks absolutely wonderful. And we'll bring him in, bring him in just a little more in a little bit. All right, let's move on. What do you say? All right, and next we're gonna open Nightcrawler, of course, from the X Men. And this Nightcrawler comes with three interchangeable heads. Isn't that amazing? That's definitely a premium feature, so I'm digging that. And then we have another hand to swap out, and we have a sword. And that tail looks pretty cool. Hopefully, it's posable. But that's awesome, especially because, you know, Wolverine didn't come with any accessories. It would have been nice to have had maybe a head to swap out something. But anyway, maybe a hands that can swap out. But nonetheless, that Wolverine is awesome. And this Nightcrawler is equally as awesome. Look at this. As far as I can tell. This beautiful artwork on the side. Look at that mirror image, right? Let's take a look at the back right on over here. Marvel Legends. I mean, come on. Doesn't get any better than this. But this beautiful artwork right here. And we're actually going to jump over here to number five because this is, I couldn't wait. And so this is the left arm of Wendigo. And let's see what it says right here in the back. Right? Look at this great artwork. With sticky hands, a sharp tail, and piercing yellow eyes, the troublemaking mutant nightcrawler scales walls and teleports from place to place. Cool. And I love the way this background looks. We're just bursting out right here. So, let's pop them on out, and let's take a look. There we are. Nice. Look how awesome this looks. Take a look at that. All right, let's pop them on out. Ooh, look at the tail. So we definitely need to, ooh. Is it posable or is it just soft? I don't know, but it looks like it spins. So that's kind of cool. We'll take a look at that. It's awesome. All right, I guess let's pop out this Wendigo arm. And it's cool how it has little hints of blue, so that looks cool. And we'll set that aside right over here. And let's just get our Nightcrawler out. Come on, Nightcrawler. There we go, and look at this awesome heads right here. Look at that. So, well, I guess we may as well get the sword right here. This swash buckler. And the, the hand, let's see. I'm assuming it holds it. So let's see, this is that one right there. Take a look at this. I don't know how I feel about the way that it, the paint looks kind of rushed for the hair, but I definitely like that face he's got going on right there. I love how the eyes, you know, I think they're supposed to be yellowish, but they look kind of lime greenish. So, yeah, they're yellow, but just got that hint, I guess, because of how it looks with the blue. All right, head goes that far back, comes that far forward. It's kind of loose, look at that. But let me tell you, the mold for this head looks great. Wow, the head actually goes that far back. So that's incredible. See the head sort of turns and pivots. Um, I love this detail right here on his outfit. And he's got an amazing ab crunch. Look at that. Okay, so the arms, they go all the way around. This doesn't really restrict it. Um, it will hit it and forces it to go out, but nah, you're still pretty good. All right, we got double joints right here at the elbow, so we can come into about almost a 45 degree angle. And moves right up here above the bicep. Same thing on this one. Looks great, turn that right there. Wrist goes back and forth and around, look at that. So, this hand is closed and looks like this one's really made to hold a sword. Looks a little odd, but look, this one pivots this way and turns so that we can hold the sword. So clearly that one's made for the sword. And then of course, that goes that far in. We can move at the waist, which is awesome. And let's see, double joints to the knees. Great articulation. And then um, comes all the way up to here on the hips. The hips are moving this little like ball in the stick joint. So this is some pretty great articulation right there. Look at that. And this tail does spin. So it's soft and it does not have a wire in it. I thought maybe you could pose it, but 
it spins is what it does. But it's already looking pretty cool. Look at that. That spear tail. And then let's look at his feet. His feet, the toes and feet do not move, but it does pivot and go back and forth. Look at the detail on his, I guess, what would be his boots, I guess. Look pretty awesome. And let's put this sword in here if it fits. I mean, this is, there we go. Just kind of jam it in there. I can definitely have them looking pretty rad like this. Look at that. Yes! I'm digging that. Look at that. Wow. So, looks amazing. I'm digging it. Let's just look at the other heads, I guess. So, and then, because I'm digging the one that's already on there. This looks almost the same, except it's got him blacked out on the, on the top part of his face, and then, you know, screaming, yelling, <laughs> hissing, whatever you want to say on that one. And then this one, he's just kind of smiling. They're all really great head molds, let me say that. So, I love the sculpt on them. The ears look great, everything. So, I'm very pleased with this Nightcrawler. Let's set this box aside, and we will be moving on to the next one. Ooh, if I can get this to go back in the box. Come on, box. Back in the box. All right, let's set him up right over here. Let me tell you, that looks absolutely great. All right. Let's move on, what do you say? So next, we have Mr. Sinister, and man, this is a heavy box. Of course, also from the X-Men, and look at that. Speaking of Sinister, and look again with the red eyes. So, look at this awesome artwork. Wow, the action figure actually looks better than the artwork. The artwork, artwork looks cool, but this looks even better right here. Look at that, and looks like the same art right here in the back. And this one, he is number six, comes with the other arm, the right arm. And here we are. So it says, Mr. Sinister. And let's zoom in just a bit. A scientific genius with evil intentions, Nathaniel Essex genetically alters his human form to become the shape-shifting telepath known as Mr. Sinister. Great. And let's just pop him on open. All right. Wow, look at that. And he looks tons different than, um, than the Toy Biz version that we have, that we had in our um, Box of Legends. The first Dream Box of Legends that we that we ever reviewed. So check this out, this is cool. All right, so let's set this aside. Take a look at that in a little bit. And wow, look at his cape, his double cape here. Let's just push him up and then we'll Pull that out ever so carefully. We don't tear any part of it. Let's do that. He has no um, accessories, so that is notable. We'll set that aside right here. Let's take a look at this. So, um, first of all, his head sculpt is pretty cool. Um, maybe could have had little texture, but you know, still looks great. Head goes. Um, it's pretty awesome how, how it turns and goes um, back and forth, so that looks awesome with his chin. And then this cape is, you know, so thick but soft plastic, so that looks awesome. This is also, so it looks like it's hard plastic, but it's not. And then we have the double cape action going on right here. And it looks like it's just perhaps stuck in there and then glued. So that's kind of cool, and look how it's like, it's not all individual strands, so that's also noteworthy. It has the appearance of it, but it's not. So, let's see. This will restrict the movement of the arm, but it's soft, so it's not too bad. Um, we have, ugh, I don't wanna break the arm. Look at that, you see I was applying a lot of force, so let me reinforce the arm as I move it in. There we go. I don't know why I'm stuck here, but I might definitely do not want to break the arm of this Mr. Sinister, so I'll be fine with that. Um, you notice that was a lot of force I was putting in there and I don't want to break them so the wrist moves pretty easily and let's see this arm this arm moves 
tons easier, but it doesn't even come into 90 degree angle, so that's also something you want to take note of, worth mentioning. Um, we can move the wrist back and forth and around. I'm really digging this the way this hand looks open right here. And let's see, this cuff right here is loose. Um, it's supposed to be, but it'd be nice if it was just glued on there, which maybe I can do myself. His ab crunch only goes that far, but uh, back, but comes pretty far forward. And let's see, I don't know if this is loose, but I would like it to stay where it's at. Moves right here at the waist. And then um, he's got really heavy duty knee joints. So that's good, especially because he's like a bigger, bulkier character. And he's wearing like thigh high boots in case you didn't notice. Um, Oh, and that's where the joint is. So it's on the high part of the thigh, but not the not all the way up here like it normally is. It's right here where the boot is. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. And you know, we got a pretty good hip joint right there. Let's extend that. And then we have another cuff right here to make these little boots. Um, the ankle actually moves a whole lot easier than you would anticipate. So it's got pretty good mobility and articulation there. There we go. And so same thing on this one. So. No accessories, so we can't swap out any heads. Um, it looks like the um, the cape helped him stand pretty well. And how do we want to, to pose him? This is almost like a Colossus body, but smaller. The way it looks right here. I like the way it's kind of um, metallic. And then the red right here, so that looks absolutely great. So, how do we, how do we want to pose him? There we go, maybe we can have him plotting have a hand in his pocket and plotting <laughs> there we are there we are I think that'll work so it's good enough for now you can always pose them later also but I'm digging that so we'll do that we'll set them right on over here and come on nightcrawler we don't need you Falling down on the job here. There we go. Okay, he'd probably fall over again anyway. But nonetheless, he looks really cool. There. Oh, there it was. Spoke too soon. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on and we'll arrange him in a little bit. Let's see what we got next. And now we're moving on to, of course, our Alpha Flight Marvel's Guardian. Look how cool this looks. Now, I'm a little disappointed because I want some sort of accessory on him but nonetheless here we are so look how great this looks package looks awesome look at this the same art on all three and he comes with number four um i guess the chest and torso and the tail i believe too so look at that marvel's guardian donning the maple leaf symbol of his home James Hudson suits up in advanced battle armor and protects the Earth as Guardian. It's a pretty cool looking drawn hand right there. So I'm definitely digging the way that art looks back there. Let's get him open. Let's get, ooh, stuck here. I don't want to tear the box. Come on, how are we stuck here? There we go. All right, and man, this one of those going to be massive. And then, in case you haven't noticed it, very much so it looks like the Sasquatch body. What's this? How come I got like gunk on mine? Let's see if I can't just what's the deal there? How could you possibly get that dirty without ever having been out? Anyway, so there's the tail. And let's get our guardian out. So he looks cool. But I'm just a little disappointed there's no uh, no accessories, no hands to swap out because I don't like having two fists. Um, unless we can swap the hands out. But um, in any event, we'll set that aside. Let's take a look at our guardian. He's got a pretty cool face sculpt. Uh, looks like his paint's coming off a little bit here. Or paint ended up getting right under his nose right here. Yeah, it's a decent head sculpt. Head moves, got great articulation. You can turn a little bit. So we have great neck articulation, I will say that. And the arms move really fluid. And let's see, can we get the shoulder to come down? Ugh, the shoulder stuck, so we're gonna have to heat it up at some point. Look, it's even like going around, so. I can 
apply pressure to the actual shoulder. Oh, I don't want to crack that off. So I'll leave that as it is right now. We can always adjust that later. We have double joints right here. And let's see how far the arms come in. Uh, not quite 45, but they definitely come in. And the wrists go back and forth and around. So there's the maple leaf and he's got really good ab crunch back and forth. Moves right here at the waist. And um, we have some pretty decent double joints at the knees, but uh, it's a lot looser than I, you would think. But it definitely is fluid motion. Um, it has this, which looks like it's the extra joint right there on the shin, but I don't like that, so I'm not gonna move it, because if I don't move it, it'll at least stay stiffer longer. And then we'll uh, check out this um, part of his foot right there. That ankle moves well. And you know we have red on this side and not on this side. And I'm trying to stay true to that uniform. So, how do we want him to look? What sort of pose do we want him doing? Put him with this. There we go. We'll just have him kind of like. That'll definitely work right there. Work for me. And something just simple and strong. Look at that. I don't know if I want the head up, want the head down. Look at that. You can even bring the the wrist in a little bit. A little bit, not so much. Look at that. That looks awesome. The only thing is I just wish he had more with him than just just that, but there we go. Looks cool. And we'll set him right on over here. That looks awesome. Alright. Just this just a smidge. And that looks pretty good. Alright. Let's move on to our last two. Next we have Marvel's Boom Boom. Of course, X-Force. Look how great that looks. This is with the leg. And let's see, we have the number three, the left leg. Look how great that looks. This is awesome artwork right here. I love the coloring on this. It looks absolutely wonderful. And look at those glasses, look at those earrings. It looks like gem earrings, so it's truly outrageous. And yeah, so let's get this let's get this box open and let's take a look to see what it says. Man, that looks really cool. You see your power is kind of swishing around right there. So Marvel's Boom Boom. Tabitha Smith, alias Boom Boom, manipulates energy to create explosive time bombs that she can detonate at any moment. That's kind of cool. All right, let's pop her on out. And take a look right here. And wow, that looks really cool, the little accessory. Let's get the leg. Check that out. Doesn't that look great? Put that right over here. And cool, we have um, an additional hand. Oh, I see why. Pop her on out. Um, the two heads, one with the bubble gum, one without. Looks like almost the exact same head, except one has the bubble gum. So I'm probably going to pop that off and get the one that doesn't have bubble gum. I don't, I don't know if I want her just blowing bubbles the entire time. Ooh, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna put it back here. It's protruding too far. And we have power right here. And I'll take this hand out. Why you ask? Because this hand looks really cool. Look at this. And it does this. But it's kind of like, can't really do much with that. Although it looks great. So we'll see. Um, here's this head. Looks really cool. A little bit of visor paint got on the ear. And I don't know if it's supposed to have that white right there just randomly on there. But here we go. Still. There we go. It's the easiest way for me to put them on there is kind of just that so it doesn't bounce around. It goes really far back and really far forward. Look at this um this little vest right here, little vest jacket. That looks cool. The color of this pink looks great. And unfortunately the the elbow does not come into a full 90 degree angle, so that's unfortunate, but still a good sculpt. Let's see. The arms go all the way around. 
They go out pretty well. Look at that. And yep, the head moves really well. Let's see. The um, ab crunch isn't like that's pretty. It's pretty all right. Look at that. We can pivot right there. It does not move at the waist. You can see the belly button. So we've been used to this um, uh, sculpt before. And then this this belt's a little too loose for my liking. I'm probably gonna have to glue it down so it doesn't keep bouncing around like that because it's like so crazy. Look at that. All right, so this hand moves back and forth, and we can actually match both hands. Look at that. Uh, but we'll look at that in a minute. And then where does this go? This just fell all the way down. I'm assuming that's for her thigh. Um, let's see. The hips, and they come pretty high up. So that's awesome. Look at that. We can move this one too. We got great um, knee joints right there. The double joints and the boots. Let's see. Now we go back and forth. Oh, this is loose too. Back and forth. And it's, there we go. It wasn't really moving, it was just, uh, let me bend it. And then we have that pivot right there. So it's working on both, put that back down. And so let's see this hand right here. So that looks, it actually looks really cool. Look at that. So, but how do we want this to happen? So, you can definitely do this, right? But don't we want it to like almost, almost like go up like that? Wouldn't that be cool? And how do we have this? You're supposed to hold it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, the high part of the thigh is it working with me. There we go. Let me see if I can get a better pose. Give me a second. Okay, what I decided to do is go very simple. Look at that. But a very dynamic pose, even though it's simple. Look at that. And when you do this right here, look how dynamic that looks. Looks great. Just give her a big power stance. And there we go. Simple. Although, she's kind of rocking back and forth. Got to find her center of balance right there. That looks great. I'm really digging that. And we can just have her right over here. I'm digging the way that looks. And I switch the hand out. And have this, I'm just put this back over here. And this over here. And yeah, you know, just live with that, it looks great. So, all right, I guess if we have the hand up, we could do that with that one, but meh, we'll move on. Looks looks great. All right, I'm gonna put this in this box right here. We will move on. Okay. And the last box we have to open before we do our Build-A-Figure is Marvel's Cannonball. Of course, X-Force also. And so the top half of them looks pretty cool. And um, of course, I'll give you my opinion. But um, look at this cool artwork right here. It looks great all around. And look at that. It's like blasting off right there. He comes with number two, which is the right leg. And back here it says Marvel's Cannonball. Samuel Guthrie creates a powerful force field to fly at superhuman speeds as a leader of the New Mutants known as Cannonball. So, looks great. Cool concept. Um, I would have really liked him to come with legs so we could swap out and not just be permanently this blast, this volcano blast right here. So, take this out and let me just say that was a bit of a disappointment. Although it looks cool, I like how it's like translucent. But let's get them on out of here. Oh no. Oh, that's a first. I just <sighs> completely busted on me there. Had a blowout. <laughs> that was loud too. Let's set that aside right there. And let's take another look. All right. So now, if we look at just the top half, it's got some. You know, it looks pretty awesome. Look at that. Got the headgear going. Got those, um, those eye pieces right there. So that we can, that eye gear, we can move his head pretty well. Turn, look at that. This is soft plastic. Look at this hair sculpt and the paint job. That looks awesome. Look at this jacket. Looks awesome. The arms move well. 
Ugh, I can't get his arm to go in anymore. Oh, I guess it can't. I just thought it was stuck. It can't because it moves pretty well like that. It moves the high part of the bicep. Um, right here, the double joints at the elbows actually move really well. Look at that. The wrist. So there's some great articulation mobility here. Look at the cuffs on the um, gloves. And then he moves right here at the waist. Now, the unfortunate part is that's it. This is a big old hollow thing. And although it looks cool-ish, you know, what are we gonna do? Have him like blasting forward like that? Because that's about it. We can have him like But otherwise, we wouldn't have him blasting off and then like um, looking back too much, right? Look at that. Because then he's taken off that way. <sighs> but I will say this. The sculpt of this does look kind of cool. I love the way it's kind of textured right there. And, and the way it blends from yellow to orange. So that does look cool. So I'm not going to take that away from it. But, um, but yeah, maybe the follow through on this character could have been a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and just set so him aside. He does have an ab crunch. A little, but okay. So we'll set him aside over here. And, you know, maybe not my favorite figure in the series here, but uh, in any event, we definitely needed him to complete our Wendigo. So let's put him right there. And, all right, we'll move on. And last but not least, we do have our Build-A-Figure. Right, and let's get everything situated to where we need to have it. Right, get this looking good here. His arm, his tail. There we go. Cool. Make sure we have everything in our shot. And here's the head. So let's start there. Look how great this looks, and look how soft the hair actually is. So that's cool. So let's pop this right on in here, and look how this looks. So it gets stuck right here. And there we go. So it kind of clicks. And that looks pretty cool already. Look at that. It looks definitely fierce. We can pop this right on in here. Oop. Jeez. There we are. That looks great. And wow, it moves nice and smooth. We'll put the left arm on. And his joints are extremely smooth. Look at that. And wow, he's got brown here too. Put this tail on right here. And get that stuck on there. And let's put his legs right here. Just twist. And he's definitely a big figure. Look at that. And, you know, if you want, um, you can definitely pose him pretty well. You know, I'm digging the way he looks. He actually looks a, uh, a lot better than and I even anticipated. So I have to keep scooting back, I'm sorry, because I have not getting him fully in the shot, I'm sorry. But let's take a look. So of course we're gonna look at the head, and it clicks right here for the shoulders, but it moves really well, look at that. Okay, it moves in the high part of the bicep, and he's got a single joint on the elbow, so it doesn't even come into 90 degree angle, but still moves well, it's nice and bulky. Got great texture, great mold. Ooh, popped the hand out when I was just trying to trying to make his his wrist move look at that okay so turns got big claws and let's see he's heavy so his legs kind of they don't stay put you know, might have to support him okay those move and go around he's got these huge claws I love the detail look at that they made him look furry and look at his big old coat mane the tail turns because that's all it has right there and yeah he's got like he-Man, <laughs> look right there. We've got a big joint right here on the on the knees, the double joints, and right here at the hip. It moves really well and solid. And turns right there on the high part of the thigh. And so, yeah, great. The ankle moves really well, and pivots and tilts. And, yep. So, he's worth it. He's awesome. And remember we did the, the Hulk and... Um, Wolverine first, ooh, that wasn't, <laughs> that 
That was very unexpected. And Wolverine uh, first appearance, Marvel Legends, that came out not too long ago. Well, it showed him in the background, remember? So let's move this. And let's have him lean forward a little bit. And let's just have him like, like wanting to eat something. Eat someone. So tell me that doesn't look amazing, right? So, yeah, looks absolutely great. Let's get everybody set up and let's take a look one last time before we dip out for today. So, let's see what I got. Let's set everybody up. All right, this is definitely gonna work for me. Look how great this looks. Just everybody set up right here. And guys, I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah, let us know where in the world you're watching from. And after this, maybe you can make it back to our channel page so you can see all the other cool Marvel Legends and other reviews we've done. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace. Welcome back, friends, to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible these look. I can't wait to get these open so that you can see each and every single one of these, how great they all look. Look at these great poses. Look at these great outfits. Everything. Hasbro did an outstanding job with this wave. So, guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Click on the notification bell next to it so you can get notified every time we have a new video come out. Let us know where you're watching from. And, guys, I want to thank you so much for helping us grow. We're getting really close to 11,000 subscribers. So, why don't we go ahead and get started, guys? What do you think? Right? Now! All right, friends, and welcome back. I can't wait to get started. Look at this amazing X-Men series right here. This is Marvel's Warlock Build-A-Figure. Look at this. Let's get this nice and spick and span. So I'm super excited. We're going to get started. We're going to go in order that they have them back here, starting with Marvel's Colossus. But if you'll take a look, look at this awesome lineup we got going on here. So there's eight total figures, six that you need to get for the Build-A-Figure, and then an extra one that has Old Man Logan here is Wolverine. So right here we're going to build Marvel's uh, Warlock. It starts with Marvel's Colossus, Shatterstar, Dazzler, Polaris, Cyclops, Sunfire, and of course Wolverine, which we all know is Old Man Logan. And so this is the order we're going to go in. we get started. I'm super excited to do this. So let's get started with Colossus here and look how incredible he looks. So the hardest ones to find in this set have been for me Colossus uh, Cyclops and then old man Logan, but he we don't even need him So these two have been the hardest to find so glad we got this so look at this beautiful package I guess this would be a sentinel right here Colossus is lifting it up and It's the same on both sides beautiful package here by Hasbro and let's read what the back says this back says Colossus transforms his body into armored steel to become a nearly indestructible force in combat. Doesn't he though? Looks outstanding. He's awesome in the in the X-Men movies and I'm excited about the X-Men movies coming up. So let's go ahead and get him out of here. All right. He goes. All right. And right off the bat, look how great this looks. Wow, we got extra piece here for Warlock. So, look at the Awesome cool heads. We got double heads right here. And so it looks like the paint job looks amazing right away. And let's get our build a figure pieces out. Take a quick look. Wow, look at that. It's amazing detail on here. This is a great camera actually. <laughs> so this looks outstanding. I don't know if I'm totally into the character, this Warlock character, but this is definitely an awesome looking build figure. And then these are kind of like softish, if you'll notice. It's one big piece, so this whole piece isn't necessarily soft, but these are. And these are, are a little bit more firm. All right, let's take a look at this buzzsaw that we got going on here. Look at this. And this paint job makes it look like it's almost like, like metal that's already getting old. All right, let's take a look at this extra head here. I'm really digging this extra head. Very almost modern looking with his hairstyle and, and his beard. 
those eyes. Cool. We're definitely gonna want to switch those out. And let's take a look at this Colossus. Wow, look at this great head. Great neck movement. Head moves really far back. I'm really digging that. And really far down. Look at that. He looks definitely menacing. Arms. Great mobility. Great movement. Wow, we have a single joint for the elbows. So that's a little different. I guess because he's big. Which also means looks like this arm may not be able to straight. Oh, there he goes. It's not 100% fully straight. Notice that. So that means it doesn't come in very far either. Uh oh. Ugh. There we go. So it doesn't even do a full 90 degree angle, but I guess he's so buff he doesn't even have that much mobility. So the, the hands do move in and out a little bit. You'll notice they're of course going to be restricted by this so the wrist can't go all the way full back. I do like that they have two different hands. That way it's not just two fists or two claws. That looks awesome. Digging this X-Men symbol here. I love that he crunches right here. Look at that. Look how great that looks. Let's take a quick picture real quick. Awesome. I love that he crunches right there. I love that he moves at the waist. I know that not everyone uh, digs that. Some of you like the one where it moves under the rib cage, but my favorite is this one. Look how awesome that looks. Okay, great. And so, of course, we got that mobility here on the legs. He doesn't have like this ridiculous mobility, but he definitely has awesome mobility. Because um, the legs are so big and beefy, they don't come all the way back. They come back like that. And then the feet, they do move back and forth and then pivot. So that's great mobility for him to be able to stand um, with some pretty dynamic poses, right? So look, if he's about to, needs to get low so that he can um, fight somebody like way bigger than him, obviously he's gonna need to crouch down slightly like this and then let's pivot that leg. And that looks great to me. It looks like he's about to wrestle with someone, doesn't he? Look how great that looks. Looks so awesome. Yeah, buddy. Look at his back. He's got amazing back muscle detail. <laughs> look at all that. Look at his boots look awesome. Look at that strong upper back. And then this metal detail right here on his arms looks absolutely great. So let's see what the other head looks like. Pop this one off. Ugh. Let's see how he looks there. You tell me which head you like best. Oh, if I can get there we go you know what? I think I'm I like this head I do but I think I'm digging the traditional Colossus head instead of that uh, what tinfoil beard or whatever <laughs> so yeah I like it I just don't love it this one I love traditional Colossus head that looks outstanding look at that Let's get him ready to, to crush someone. I will crush you like blueberry. There we go. Let's get him ready to, to rumble here. Yes. All right. So we're about to move on. Let's get him posed back here. Let's set him up back over here. And let's... Move on to our next figure. All right, so next we have Shatterstar, who looks outstanding here. Looks definitely like the X-Force comics. So that's really cool. And right here we have this beautiful box once again. We have an arm right here from Warlock, this beautiful package. And we have this like double sword right here. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. So I can't wait to get this open. Let's take a look right here. And it says, Armed with superhuman physical and mental abilities, Shatterstar conquers his enemies with strength and certainty. Wow, certainty, huh? <laughs> Let's get him open. Let's see what we got going on here. Looks great from the outside. And if you'll remember, we did the Deadpool uh, series that had several X-Force members, and he was not in it. But here we have him here. So let's take a look. Let's see this arm right here from Warlock. Arm is kind of cool. Hey, well, it's the right arm. I thought it was going to be the left because of how this was bent, but guess not. But cool. That looks awesome. Great. Let's set that aside. And let's see. Let's take these swords out. Look how cool these look. Yep. 
They've been sitting in there, so kind of smashed together. But these look awesome. All right, let's get him out. Let's get him on out of here. So, first off, great head mobility. Even despite having all this going on, this ponytail is soft. Uh, doesn't look like it'll crack off, but I guess if you play with it too much, it'll crack off. And then we have some outstanding mobility here. And look, this is different. Um, no, I guess it does have pretty good movement right here. It just looked different. By the way, the shoulder was um, separated here. But because it's closed, I was like, oh, okay, but it's because it's not the bicep showing. So that looks great. Um, I love the cuff right here on these awesome gloves. The hands go back and forward and around. That looks great. Look at the star right there, it looks great. This, how's this attached? Oh, this is attached to the piece of the, the um, right here, the cloth he has right here. So that's attached that way. The belt is not permanently affixed. So, I mean, you know how I feel about that. There's not really any reason for it to need to move, but I guess it gives it another element of 3D. Um, this doesn't need to be moving around either, so I wish this was permanently affixed. Once again, um, I know it's probably easier for production or whatever, but I wish this was just maybe even just glued on so we can glue it on ourselves if we like. And then we do have double joints. Because of this, it's going to restrict this from coming out. The boots look great. Wow, looks like the foot is a little further off than we would like it. But um, see, because there's all that gap in there. But it does go forward, backward, and side to side. So just keep an eye out for that. And then this boot, oh, it does move right above the shin. Look at that. So that's cool. And right here crunches at the abs. Love that. Move side to side here. Let's give him his weapons. Let's put this sword right here. Uh, we're gonna need to kind of jam it in there a little bit. Boom. Wrist is a little bit looser than I would have liked. Now we know that that happens from time to time. These Marvel Legends figures, so it's gotta be mindful. And um, at least we have joint mobility. Sometimes that's a, uh, a no-go. So this looks great. This looks really awesome. Look at that. And he's ready for action. Let's see if we can just get him for a quick stance. That way we can check out our next figures. Looks great. Uh, his legs are a little bit looser than I would have liked. Once again, that's not uncommon. And look how great this looks. Let's get him in a photograph all by himself. Let's see. There we go. That looks great. All right, cool. So let's set him up right over here by Colossus. Oh no, <laughs> we're knocking everyone over. Oh, I knock you over, you knock me over, whatever, right? There we go. Boom. So that looks great. Awesome. All right, and so next we have Dazzler. So Dazzler looks kind of cool uh, if you dig the 70s. <laughs> I'm liking the way this is multicolored. You know, this is a shape that um, Marvel Legends uses often, and it's usually different colors. And so. Uh, well, it looks kind of cool, and can't wait to get it open. Got a microphone right here. Looks like she has roller skates in there. I maybe would have perhaps perhaps liked a more modern-looking Dazzler than this uh, disco-era bodysuit, but whatever. Let's check it out. Oh, and let's take a look at the package. See, that would have looked really cool. Look at that hair. Instead of this, like, I don't know, feathered Farrah Fawcett all wannabe hair. If it were Farrah Fawcett's hair, that would look cool, but this is more wannabe. And then, um, yeah, see, this would look way cooler, but whatever. Still looks kind of cool. The face looks cool. So let's read the back here. It says, Dazzler converts sounds into light and energy, preferring the rhythm of music as her primary source of sonic strength. Yeah, and that, that whole idea is kind of cool. Wait a minute. <laughs> is that a disco ball, mirror ball right there? Looks like it is. All right, so, I mean, I get it. It's Dazzler, but still, I would prefer to, uh, a modern type Dazzler on here. So, right off the bat, otherwise, the face mold looks good. I like that, almost like 
ultimate warrior type paint. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's loose, that part on there. All right, let's, let's get this arm out here. Let's take a look. Oh, we can take a look at the rest. And there is a double joint here. Boom. And we'll take a look at that shortly. All right. So we have Dazzler's Power right here. I really like the color. That looks awesome. Let's get her out of there. Hop on out. So, as I mentioned, there's the bell bottoms. But it's kind of like a jumpsuit. And there's the Superfly collar. Here's the Fair Fawcett wannabe feathered out here. So, I mean, there's a good theme. Just don't know if I'm feeling it. And then, of course, as I mentioned, look at this chain necklace disco ball. Well, and this one looks a little bit more like a grenade. <laughs> a round grenade. <laughs> this microphone comes out. Hopefully it's not permanently in there. Good. Because we don't need her permanently skating with a microphone. Wow, look at those boots, shoes, I don't know. I mean, obviously they're skates, but um, fancy ones. So, that's uh, kind of cool. Not my favorite. Would have preferred it look a little different, but anyway. Uh, that looks a little weird. <laughs> it's hard, like her skin goes over the dress instead of under. So that looks a little weird, but um, we're not gonna focus too much on that. Obviously the action all happens in the front. The neck moves pretty good, head moves pretty far forward, and then the hair doesn't restrict the movement of the head too much. So, boom, let's put this right here. That'll look really cool. Put this on the wrist. Hopefully we can, because I don't want to have to put this loose one on there. Let's see. Hopefully we can open this one up and get it on there. Come on, Dazzler. There we go, came at it from the side. Boom, that looks really cool, don't you think? There we go. And uh, I don't know if we need to be holding the microphone. She's like, let me sing while I'm blasting you with my powers. Don't know if that's uh, a little unnecessary, but this looks really cool. Let's take a picture of this. Awesome. And let's get her to see if we can stand up. Let's see, the ankles do move, good. Inside to side, and then so yeah, let's see if we can get her to stand on these skates. I'm sure we will because it's got, you know, the four corners deal going. Let's see if we can get her to have a slightly more dynamic pose though. There we go. And if we can just get this skate to, yeah, that looks really cool. Boom, that looks awesome actually. All right, sorry, I'm trying to get a good shot here. Boom, that'll work. All right, cool. So let's put Dazzler right over here. And that should work pretty good. I'm digging it. Okay, and next we have Marvel's Polaris. Look how cool this one looks. And then once again, these are energy things. This is the other type of energy thing we normally see. It's uh, pretty much the same mold twice. This package looks cool. Uh, the figure looks really awesome on the side here. It's a, the same on both sides. And, um, wow, yeah. So let's take a look at what it says back here. And this actually looks like it's bubbling green soda or Mountain Dew instead of <laughs> energy. But, all right, let's see what we got here. Magnetic, electrical, and gravity. Never heard of that sort of uh, pronunciation, okay? Fields are no match for Polaris, a super being with the ability to control and manipulate magnetism. Looks super cool. I'm really digging the way that looks. Um, we'll see how she looks once we take her out of the package, right? Let's see how we got going on here. Oh, it looks like I didn't finish cutting it. There we go. All right. And she comes out of the package. <laughs> Remember that? All right, cool. Whoa, this was a heavy leg. Clunky. All right, cool. Looks like we have double joints. I just can't get the other joint to move yet. There we go. There we go. Slightly, but there we go. The foot moves. So that looks really cool. It's really tall. Look at that. There we go. It's got a heel too. <laughs> All right. Let's move uh, our dazzler, which fell over. Let's see if we can stand it up again. There we go. Cool. 
All right, and so here we are. Let's bring her on out. Oh, and look, there's her cape. Let's get her little energy fields here. There we are. Set this aside. And with her uh, being able to, you know, control these fields of, of magnetivity and electrical and, you know, even gravity, that's really kind of cool. So, kind of a cool outfit. Um, Two-tone green. Um, let's see. Got this metallic lipstick going. Just kind of like a face helmet. Not sure how that's staying on. Other than maybe there's a... She would put a strap on the back. Now, obviously, uh, we don't need to find out because it's just a toy and just a comic. But, interestingly enough, uh, this hair's all one piece. Looks kind of cool. I like the the way they designed the hair and the head is able to move freely the head moves really far down hopefully I didn't pop the head off no nope, I didn't but it moves really far back and um, alright so the arms got great movement the wrists don't move a whole lot they do move um, but of course they're restricted by this in the back and so it's a traditional Marvel female body She's not moving a ton side to side. Oh, excuse me. Had to hiccup or something. And then, of course, we got some great movement here. So that looks awesome. This would be really cool, actually, if we put her floating in the air. So we'll do that probably in a minute. Look at that. This looks really cool. And then look at her, the paint job on her boots. So that looks really cool. And let's put these bad boys on her. See how that looks. And uh, they're pretty loose. So we've seen these like on Doctor Strange, I believe. And he's all, we've also had Doctor Strange ones with the other ones, like Dazzler has there. So that looks really cool. I wonder if we can grab our stand. Where is it? Here. Right? And let's put her like this. Let's raise this up. Josh Groban style. There we go. And let's have her straight cold chilling right there. I think that looks awesome. So, yeah. Eh, maybe too high. We just need her floating a little bit. Boom. Yeah. That I'm totally digging. All right, great. That looks awesome. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, cool. And so we are getting good with Marvel's Cyclops. Doesn't this look awesome? Traditional blue and yellow x-men outfit so different than the cyclops one i'm sorry than the colossus one we have here this looks so great love the way this looks and wow look at that and so let's see what it says on the back here scott summers wears a specially designed visor and shoots beams of energy from his eyes as the optically gifted hero cyclops so of course, you know, we've seen the comics, we've seen the movies where he has to touch here. Now, I'm just saying, if he can't reach his visor, he can't shoot those out without removing that visor. So why doesn't he just have like, um, like Ant-Man does and have something on his hand so that he can just easily go like this and shoot it out instead of having to bring his hand all the way up to his head and be like, Boop! so what if he was being held back? What if he was being kept prisoner? You know, wouldn't it be nice to just be able to have to go here and not have to raise his hand all the way to his head? Anyway, so uh, we'll give up on that for now. <laughs> and so let's take uh, Cyclops on out of here. Done with my little Cyclops rant. And let's see what we got. Here's the other leg, and remember there, these are heavy. So it's probably gonna help us balance it better. So big and clunky. Let's see, which leg is this? This is the left leg. Interesting. Cool. So, we'll set that aside. Let's get him out of here. And let me just say, he looks great. Love the way we got the ab crunch going. I don't know if we need this loose, but whatever. Because then it's kind of weird. This moves side to side. Oh, and it came apart right here. I probably could have just been one piece connected because otherwise if we turn them it's going to come off anyway all right cool so then this is all twisted up to have them like that all right so arms move really well we have this which can go all the way up right here 
have him shooting. We have him good mobility in his head. Head's a little bit more loose than I would have liked. Look at that. We can move side to side. Really far back. Look at that. And really far down. So that's awesome. I'm really digging that. We don't have any accessories, which is um, unfortunately not something I'm happy about. Uh, I'm not real big that these move because we don't need them to move. Look how corny these look if they fall because I believe these are supposed to be here. So look, we don't need this falling. Why isn't that attached? So I don't like that these come down. I don't like that these like garters right here come down. Not digging that. But overall I can deal with it. I'll probably just end up gluing these myself right there. So that they'll stay because we don't need them moving around, right? I don't think anybody does. And we have a really great character who can who can shoot his beams right here. So that looks great. So this Cyclops looks really awesome. Looks like we can get some great poses here. Of course, he's always going to be using this hand to touch the, the visor. Looks really cool. I'm really digging this, uh, this figure, this action figure. So I definitely recommend this. This is one of my favorites of the whole set. Let's see if we can get him to stand. Well, let's get a good picture of him first, actually, right? Let's see what we got going on here. Let's... That looks awesome. And then you know what? I think I forgot to get us a, a picture right here. Let's get a picture. Boom. All right, so let's move them right there. That looks really cool. Okay, awesome. So we got two more before I build a figure. We have Marvel's Sunfire. Look at this. We got these really cool accessories right here. We have the the chest of our warlock here. That looks really awesome. Look at this cool picture right here. That looks really rocking. And let's take a look at the back. So a master of solar energy. Sunfire converts solar radiation into powerful plasma outputs. Perfect for scorching his enemies. Yeah, it looks awesome. Looks like that belt's gonna be loose again, so whatever. But let's get this bad boy on out of her. Let's see. Wow, this looks great right now. Let's take this on out of here. Cool. Look at that. Awesome. Set that aside. So Sunfire, got a cool color scheme going on here. Got the fire right here on the arms. Looks like the belt is loose. Called it. The waist moves. We got crunching right here at the abs. That looks cool. Let's see how far back the neck goes. Uh, really far down. Decent, pretty good far back. And we got extra mobility right here with this extra joint here. I always love that. So that means we can get even better poses. Look at that. Boom. So that looks awesome. Uh -oh, and this arm's a little looser than I would have liked. Let's see, we got good mobility here. We have fire right here on the feet. Look at that in the boots. And then, interesting. <laughs> look, at, look at this really fancy looking uh, boot shoe going on right here. So there's not a lot going on to this character design. It's just a bunch of white stripes. And then some fire. He's all mask. Other than it's just, you know, a bodysuit. So, not my favorite of the group. But I like these fire accessories right here. Look how awesome these look. It's a great. I wonder if it's it's not exactly the same one twice. So that's really cool too. Let's just try to put this right here. Boom. This instantly makes this way cooler. So I'm digging what this does for it. So, boom, or boom. I'm doing a, oh, you can. Yes, we can do like, like a Street Fighter. Look at that. Do 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 do. Cool. Let's see if we can get a really good pose going right here. So, not my favorite of the group, but definitely, awesome accessories. And look how cool that looks. Let's see if we can get a cool picture here. That looks awesome. You know, that made it tons better. Not digging this outfit either. Not my favorite uh, Marvel character, but yep, still worth it. 
Look how awesome that looks. Cool. Let me back up a little bit, bro. Oh, I need to get the feet. There we go. That looks cool. Awesome. Digging that. Okay, and some of you have been waiting for this one. Wolverine, Old Man Logan. Look how great this looks. No Build-A-Figure piece, so unfortunately there's not that added incentive. But look at this great art on the side. Looks awesome. It's reversed here. So that looks awesome. Look how cool he's definitely a mean. Look at that belt buckle. Got that country western thing going for right there. All right, and let's see what we got going on here. So with strength. Oops, I'm already reading it wrong. <laughs> I went skip lines. Okay, so with incredible powers of strength and healing, Wolverine reveals his retractable claws and uses them to slash down opponents. Looks amazing. Love the way this looks. Let's see if he has those little things right there on the back. He does not. And I was like, cool, that would look awesome if we had that. And he does not. So somewhere it says, like, subject to uh, where it says, like, it may vary or whatever. You know, it said something in there. Let's see. Some poses may require additional support. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't. But uh, usually it says, like, sometimes the the colors or the whatever may vary. Obviously, it, it did. Let's see. So, he doesn't have that. They're just coming straight out of his hands. But definitely still love the way this looks. All right, let's get this bad boy on out of here. Let's slide him right out. And boom, let's take a look. So he looks outstanding. Look at this. Rocking those really cool pants. Cool jacket. Look. Uh, it probably does come off. But you probably don't want it to come off because usually the sleeves still remain. So he's wearing a red shirt. A really cool red shirt, actually. But if you take it off, he's still going to have these brown sleeves. So we've seen that a lot in the past. So these are cool. And what we do know is that if you boom, if you kind of jiggle them they will come right on out so we don't need them to come out but at least not right now but that's how you make them retractable and obviously this looks really 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 cool got great mobility this is cool the way this moves right here in the jacket got double joints right here in the elbow and yes I'm really digging the way this looks. Let's make him look really scary and menacing. Look at this. There we go. Head up, head down. There we go. Look at that. Let's spread these out like we did the other ones if we can. There we go. Doesn't that look awesome? Let's move his arms on out of here. There we go. Or maybe like that. Whatever. And then the, the wrists do move up. So that looks awesome. Look at this belt buckle right here. That looks cool. Moves at the waist. Crunches right here. Look at that. That looks so outstanding. And let's take a look at this head design, you know. Got a little bit of paint on the ear. No biggie. That looks awesome. Digging that. And the movie was incredible. Now, it's not for everyone. The movie, if you're still young, the violence is a little hard to handle. But um, uh, when old enough, watch it. The movie is super cool. I do not recommend it for youngsters because it is uh, way too violent. And let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. There we go. And look at this really cool cowboy boots. I hadn't even noticed. So obviously these would go up to here, but of course we're keeping the, the, the foot so it can pivot. But love this figure. I think he looks awesome. Let's see if we can get a, there we go. This looks so great. And you know what? I think I forgot to get a, a picture from uh, earlier, but that's all right. This looks so great. Let's move him right over here. So we can get a good, little stance right here and you know what oh <laughs> they fell like dominoes okay let's put everybody back up there we are and let's see if we can get Logan back to a stance that will that will support him right here 
cool. Sorry, I don't mean to spend all this time getting a getting them just to stand up. But there we go. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, let's take a quick review right now. I think this looks great. All right, so we're gonna move on to our build a figure, aren't we? All right, friends, and here we are moving to the last part of our um, Marvel Legends build a figure, the part you've been waiting for. We're gonna move it right here. We're gonna show you all the pieces, and then Gigi's gonna help me do it, right? Yeah. yeah let's just put all the parts right here. Oh, what was that? A burp? Yeah. <laughs> Too much sprite. Wait, was he the hot dog? Oh, the. <laughs> All right, cool. So let me move a little bit out of the way so we can do this together. What do you say? Yeah. All right, come on over. Here, let's take these off for you. No, no. All right, so guys, look how incredible this looks. We've already seen all these pieces. Looks, looks like this. Creepy. Does look a little bit creepy. And um. Why doesn't this finger move? Well, here we go. Let's zoom right over here. That way we can see. Show exactly what you're looking at. The hands like uh, grabbing. So, good job. Put that leg on, just it's hard. it's hard. Let's see. Pop this bad boy on there. Pop this on there. And you broke our streak of putting the head on first. <laughs> All right, let's get this right here. Look. Because we've been doing the head on everyone first. He looks really creepy. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what we got going on here. Look. What is this? That's like a buzz saw to replace one of the hands. There we go. That. How do you like that hair? I don't know, it looks creepy. <laughs> Everything's just hey this right arm just keeps popping right off. So keep that in mind. Look at that. This arm isn't staying on. Well, why don't we just replace it? Let's see. These go in here. Let's see, just kind of toss that bad boy in there. I keep on burping like crazy. <laughs> oh man, come on. Help us out here. Help a friend out. All right, so this one doesn't reach that well over here. Look, it does reach and does fit, but it slides right on out. It does have a shape, so the flat part goes in there, and we keep getting it all the way in there, but it keeps falling all the way out. And so to move the arm, certain poses, it's gonna have to come out anyway. So this is one of the first times where we can't get the, the piece to like stay in there. So we'll leave it like that. And then put the chainsaw on his head. Well, the buzz saw. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's super tall. Oh, it's just like the lady that we saw at Walmart and she was super tall. <laughs> yep, sometimes you see people that are really tall. Look at this. So this should be our shortest character, Logan. That way you can see how tall this warlock is. Let's let's get down in here. Look at this. I was playing Roblox and um I I was wearing nail polish and they were my nails were a little too long and I said my nails looked like um Wolverine? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like ha 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 ha. That is funny. Alright, well this arm's gonna pop off, so let's see if we can at least get this fist out and replace this fist with this buzz saw right here. Because uh, this one looks like the other hand. Because the arm's gonna pop right off, let's see. Whoa! That went a little wild. Sorry guys, took you for a little rock. Okay, so check this out. Boom. That looks kind of cool. What do you think? Yeah. Let's put this arm back in here. Let's take a quick picture. And I'm not really digging this character. It looks kind of really frantic, but whatever. Let's take a photograph and then let's see what they all look like. Here we go. Doesn't that look a little wild? looks like an old grandpa. That's what he's supposed to. If you were, <laughs> if you would have been here with, the whole time with me making it, you would have heard that this was Old Man Logan. All right, so let's get everybody standing and let's do a final shot. Okay, so here we are. Look how great this looks with all of our figures already set up and posed. Look how great it looks with our warlock built and going to battle with if theoretically <laughs> all these um, action figures would go to battle against Warlock and it looks awesome so I can't say enough about that it looks so great so guys 
Let me know what you think. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Click on the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you can get notifications every time we have a new video come out. And let us know where you think and where you're watching from, guys. So once again, Vincent GD wanted to tell you thank you for watching us and for helping us grow. Now we're on the way to 11,000 subscribers. Can't wait to get there. And thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. We love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G.